Well, I'm excited. Um, I mean, so so I'm I'm excited for for what we're going to be covering. I know we've got some great um, some great items, some great action, um, some great tactics that you can put in place. Um, most of these, I think, you can put them put in place probably today if you wanted to, um, and, and start using those. And um, I kind of doubt that you've heard you know probably ninety percent of these. So. Um, Unless you're in a super secret mastermind group, um, then uh, that's prob probably the only way you're going <laughs> to get some of these new uh, latest gems here. But um, uh, so for those who, I mean, uh, I mean, I, I don't want to make any assumptions here. So my name is Brian Johnson. Um, my, my specialty, of course, is uh, Amazon-sponsored ads and AMS and uh, headline search ads. Um, I have a training course, community on Facebook, software, and um, of course I have my agency, ad agency as well. Um, what I've done is I've asked, um, uh, probably probably all of you are on um, in, in one of my groups um, or one of my clients, so I'm glad that you're here. Um, so I brought, I, I brought Norman and Dave on to, to, to Essentially, I mean, because I, I wanted to share, I wanted them to share more of what they were doing. Because I, I, I've been, um, like for instance, with with Dave. Let me kind of give you some background with Dave here. Um, nothing. I'm not going to throw you under the bus or anything, Dave. <laughs> no, I've, I've known Dave for for at least ten years. So well before my Amazon career, um, we did uh, we did quite a bit of internet marketing, and I think pretty much every. You know, we've both had our successes and failures as far as businesses um, go. Norman, I think you're probably the same. You know, the, any of us that are the the, the lifetime entrepreneurs, um, that's just kind of the name of the game is you're going to have good years, you're going to have bad years. And the the idea is uh, I, I stopped calling them businesses and started just calling them projects. But one of the things that, that I try to focus on doing is making sure that each project is better, that I've definitely learned something from the last, that I've definitely – uh, learn to outsource and to tap into a knowledge base and a community and, and not try to do everything on my own. I spent my early years failing the most because I was always trying to do things on my own and I realized through a lot of pain and a lot of in several years that that is the wrong way to do it. You're going to just keep continue to struggle and start until you learn a network. That's why I go to conferences. That's why you know I'm invited to speak at conferences. Uh, we're all invited actually to speak at conferences, and so that's a great chance for us to network. And so we're glad to to go. We're glad to share our knowledge. Um, and on my side, I'm in advertising. I'll let Dave and Norman go through and talk about some of their their points, of course. Um, but uh, I guess I guess my point on this is that you know just learning. From, from business to business, it keeps on from, from project to project. It keeps on uh, getting better and better, um, getting more and more success because, you know, we continue to learn. Um, and I think that this, this call is, is going to really entail a lot of that. Certainly, it's going to be well worth um, some of the gems. I, I've already gone through, obviously, I've already gone through and discussed these with, uh, with Norman and, and Dave as far as what, what some of the things we're going to teach tonight. And I'm looking forward to it because I think you're going to be like, wow, this is cool. I'm glad I'm here and too bad for those who didn't <laughs> show up. So um, I'm, going to, I'm going to stop talking. I'm going to actually hand it over to uh, David Norman and um, let them go ahead and get this thing started. Um, just wishing you all, I'm glad you're here. Well, thanks, well, thanks Brian. Brian. I appreciate uh, you giving us an introduction there and uh, welcoming us on the call and inviting us for, for your, your crew here. Now, I know Norman and I are super excited. We do have a lot of great content, uh, a lot of content to share with you guys tonight, and I uh, hope you guys take it and run with it. And I know that if you do take and run with it and start taking action with it, you're going to make more revenue. I mean, that's just the, what works. So uh, make sure you pay attention. And uh, the good news is here, I, I only see, uh, let me see, we're still under 40 people on this call, and I only think there's one person so far that entered into the uh, contest. I'm showing on my phone that only one person so far entered. And so if you see that slide there, I'll go through it here again later. But if you go to fb.amzandbeyond.com, make sure you find the post I put about a half an hour ago, maybe not even that. And uh, it's just talking about the webinar we're doing tonight. Comment on that. Let us know, you know what you're excited about with this, and you will be entered in to win one of the two giveaways we have tonight. So as of right now, there's one person that's going to win both of them. 
Congratulations to that person, but we're going to do it at the end of the webinar. So in order to qualify, you have to actually comment on that post, and I can show you guys where it is, but if you go to fb.amzandbeyond.com, I'll take you to a Facebook page uh, where we post it. You can like our page if you like, but you have to comment on that post about tonight's webinar, and then you'll be entered into to, uh, to win one or two prizes, one that's going to be $100 cash, and the other one's going to be a free month of our membership. So make sure you guys do that, and uh, right now the odds are really good, so that's yeah. awesome. Yeah, so much you can refresh and it works too. Okay, I see people actually commenting now, which is good because now we there's like a one in five chance of winning. So anyway, your odds are gonna be pretty good. So it's gonna be first you have to comment on that and then stay to the for the whole. That's how we bribe you ethically bribe you to stay on for the whole webinar. We will do uh, the drawing at the end and uh, we'll have a, we have a random picker that goes and picks through those comments. So just make sure you go ahead and do that. Um, if you are having any audio or visual issues, yeah, if you just if you uh, log in log out, sometimes that helps too. But um, let's go ahead and kick this thing off. Like I said, we have a lot to get started with, and uh, we're going to go through things probably a little bit fast. But uh, like I said, you guys will have access to the replay. Uh, be posted here pretty quickly, usually by morning. Uh, we'll have it posted onto the page for you guys. And all the different strategies that we're going to cover tonight, we're going to give you the SOPs, which is the step-by-step -step, uh, PDF version for you guys to go through and follow it right along uh, as we're teaching it in video form on this call. So the name of this presentation is Taking Your Amazon E-Commerce Business to the Next Level. My name is Dave Kettner. Of course, Norman Farrar is there with us, uh, with me as well. He's going to introduce himself here in a second, and so we'll live very quickly, just in case you guys don't know who we are. But uh, just so you guys know that uh, – what was I going to say with that? Uh, I forgot. I was going to go with something when I totally forgot. So let's just get into what it is that uh, – who we are. So Norman, go ahead. Take us away. Tell us a little about yourself. Okay. Well, hi, everybody. My name is Norm Farrar. Um, I call myself a entrepreneur because I've been involved with almost any type of business you could possibly think of, <laughs> good, bad, and ugly. Uh, so, yeah, Brian, been there, done it, bought the T-shirt. So, uh, anyways, I've been a brand guy for about 30 years. I've worked with small companies, medium-sized companies, and um, Fortune 500 companies. My first e-commerce business came around 1993, 1994. I was working with a Fortune 500 company, which... Uh, that kind of lit the fire for me to get going. Um, I've been involved with contract manufacturing. I've had facilities in, in Taiwan, U.S., and in Canada, uh, family-run business, especially uh, packaging company, sourcing company. I sell on Amazon. I've got a uh, the mentoring uh, uh, course with, uh, with Dave, and I do some private consulting as well. Uh, that's a picture of myself and my wife uh, on our favorite island of Kauai, where we'll eventually relocate probably about uh, three or four years from now. I've been in internet marketing not as long as Norman, but uh, since 98, we had uh, I actually created our first e-commerce website in 2003, long before we ever did private label. But I was able to go full-time internet marketing in 2009. I was a full-time teacher, uh, retired from that in, you know, it was nine years ago now. And uh, been private label selling on Amazon since 2013, even though I did start selling in 2009. Private labeling is what really took our business to the next level, and uh, that was four and a half years ago. Created uh, an uh, amazing business, of which now I've been uh, coaching, mentoring. Uh, of course, I do affiliate stuff as well. Uh, Norman and I both, and, and Brian, you know, we've all been sought after speakers and trainers and the co-founder of AMZ and Beyond with Mr. Norman Farrar. So let's tell you a little bit about uh, why we're here. And, you know, this, we actually are very accomplished. There's a lot of things that uh, we're very blessed with in our businesses. We've been doing this for a long time. But we're also very passionate about helping other people. So that's what, what we're here for. We know that there is a, uh, an area that people are in need, and that's where we call them floundering or struggling Amazon sellers that need guidance. As Brian talked about right in the beginning of the call here, you know, if, if he didn't have some of that when he was going through stuff, he wouldn't be where he's at, and neither would we. So we're out there trying to you know, make a difference, trying to help you guys who are struggling, or maybe just at a point where you're trying to take your business to the next level. So there's so many people out there that are considered gurus, or they call themselves gurus, and they're teaching you know, a lot of them. I shouldn't say all of them, but there are a bunch of them that are teaching the wrong information or misguiding or right, getting you to buy something that you know, you're not needed and, and it's not needed and it's not going to help you get to that next point. So you know, we're hoping that we can help that out as well. And uh, we know there's an abundance of opportunities that you can do, that you can be a part of, and uh, we hope that maybe we can be your mentoring guide of light with things. Now, we will have an offer at the end telling you more about uh, what we offer with AMZ and Beyond. If you want to take advantage of it, great. If you don't, not a big deal. Uh, but we do hope that one way or another that you do look for some of the things we're going to talk about in, this, uh, in the end of this presentation. We're talking about mentoring, coaching, and uh, that kind of guidance that you really need in this business. 
But either way, we have a lot of things to go over. And so here's some strategies that uh, we're going to be teaching you that, you can, that you're going to be able to use right away into your business, like Brian was saying right at the beginning. Some things you can implement right away and make profit, like uh, Brian said, even tonight if you wanted to. We're going to show you how important it is to have a mentor or mastermind, so kind of what I was just talking about there, to kind of guide you to achieving your goals, and that is so needed in this business. And like I said, we're going to offer you an opportunity to, to work with us, to help them take your business to the next level if you want to take advantage of that. Now, I did mention this right in the beginning. We do have the uh, free live attendee giveaway. If you guys want to take advantage of this and be able to access the, uh, to be able to, to be in the drawing for the hundred dollars cash and the free month of, of membership that we're offering for a uh, it's worth two hundred ninety seven dollars. What you need to do is you go to our Facebook fan page. Just go at uh, fb.amzandbeyond.com. You'll see on there that there is a post that I posted about a half an hour ago. Just go ahead and comment on that post, and uh, all those people that comment later, we're going to then randomly have this picker that will go through and select. It doesn't matter if you do it multiple times. They're just going to be, you know, one time for each account. It'll randomly pick uh, two winners, and we'll give away the hundred dollars and the uh, one month of our membership. So uh, take advantage of that. Make sure you guys get on. I will remind you one more time at the very end of the presentation in case anyone pops on late, and uh, we want to make sure everyone has the opportunity. Now, if we draw your name and you're not on this call at the end live, we'll draw again and find someone that is on live. So we are giving you. Uh, uh, we need you to stay on in order to access that, and you're going to have a good opportunity here because there is a, you know, it's not a large group tonight. And so we always have to do this disclaimer. Uh, I'm not going to read it verbatim, but you can see what it says in there. Basically, it's just that the average user, you know, is not the one that is going to achieve the kind of successes that we're going to be talking about here tonight. And uh, you need to take action in order that to happen. So, you know, things that we talk about, maybe numbers we share, is not a prediction of your own success. But uh, if you do take action, you can definitely achieve those and even better if you wanted to. And we also want to let you know that AMZ and Beyond is not, it has nothing to do, it's not affiliated with Amazon or Amazon uh, registered trademarks or anything with that. We are our own independent consulting company. So let's get on to the good stuff here tonight, which is actually what you're going to learn. These are, again, a lot of strategies. We're going to go through every single one of these step by step. Uh, we're going to show you basically what the, I'm going to tell you a little bit about the strategy what it looks like when it's finished. We're going to go through every step of it and then kind of the way uh, that you can implement it, some ideas to implement into your business, and then we'll have some questions and answers after each one. You guys do have access to the chat box there. You have access to the question and answer. Go ahead and put those questions as we're talking about these things. If you have questions about it, we'll answer it before we go on to the next strategy, and then we'll go through all of them. We'll have a general questions and answer at the end of the presentation as well. So as you see, we're going to go over uh, a lot of Amazon stuff. You know, I know that uh, Brian's people were all Amazon, pretty much Amazon sellers. So we wanted to have content tonight that is specific to Amazon sellers. You can take and implement right away. We obviously call AMZ and Beyond because we do things besides just Amazon. Uh, we are we do help a lot of our people to take their Amazon product off of Amazon, and other people that do stuff off Amazon, we bring them on Amazon. So we go back and forth with that. Uh, but we were we made this very specific the strategy you can use. And when we talk more about our group, just know that this is one of the things we do. We do a lot of coaching and mentoring besides just teaching strategy. So let's go ahead and uh, tell you a little bit more about how we're going to take this over the top for you. So in addition to all this free training, your chance to win free prizes, we're going to give you some even more. Uh, Brian's a good friend of mine. Like he said before, we've been friends for, you know, we're trying to figure it out like 10 years. And um, maybe more, maybe longer. Uh, we've been through a lot together. And so I, I wanted to give a lot to his his members, and so we're going to give you the SOPs, which is the standard operating procedures for every strategy we teach. So you're going to have that, be able to download it. Actually, before the end of this call, we're going to give you a link that has all that, the downloads for that, and the PDF for the slides as well. So if you feel like we're going through things fast, don't worry about it. You're going to have the SOPs, you're going to have the PDF slides, and you can get all that. We're going to give you a discount link. There's a, a software that we've been using that's been working really great, and uh, you're going to get a discount, 20% off discount. We only shared that publicly one time last week with another friend group of ours. Uh, we're going to give that opportunity for you if you want to take advantage of it. And then we have a very limited opportunity for you to join our Amazon Beyond Mentoring Coaching Group. And uh, we're going to offer that with special bonuses. Uh, along with, besides bribing you guys to stay on with the prizes, we're going to have these webinar bonuses that if you take advantage of it on the call, it's going to even be better than if you are listening to the replay. So let's go ahead and start with strategy number one. This one is called the Amazon Sponsored Ads Trick. Uh, or strategy. I know uh, Norman doesn't like it when I call things tricks. He likes strategies, and it is a strategy, and it's going to be a good strategy. Now, I'm going to go through this one very quickly because, you know, Brian, I, I shared this with Brian before earlier today, and he had talked about, he taught, you know, he's been teaching some of this stuff. This one particular one, you guys, you might have taught some variation of it. 
So I'm gonna show you how we do this. And if you do it already, great. If you're not doing it, take advantage of it. And this is gonna be a step-by-step -step of how you can implement this tonight to get some really good, uh, you could get some sales at very a low A cost, which is the average cost of sales. So basically you're getting a good return on your money. And uh, we're gonna be calling it a catch-all separate campaign. This is totally separate than any other sponsored ad products that you're running. Okay, so if you're running other sponsored ads, don't worry about it. This is gonna be in addition. So let me show you what this is gonna look like. Now, it may be hard to see this one slide, but uh, this is the, I call this my catch-all campaign. It's for all my products. Uh, I started this a little more than a year ago, so it was March 15th of last year. And you can see over that time, I don't know if you could tell, but the I spent $232.40, and it resulted in almost $2,200 uh, $2, in sales, which is just over 10% 10, 10 A cost. But when you break it down per the group, ad group level, you'll see that I break it down by every single product. And uh, if, you, if you go down, you'll see some that, you know, are under 1%. In fact, I have uh, one, check out the, the third one down, this one adapters one. It is, I spent two cents to make a $10 sale. So you're not gonna get as much volume here, but you can definitely make some, some really cheap sales. And uh, it's just this over and beyond things that you would, would have been missing before. So it's a catch all, which means it's kind of the things that you would have lost, but now you're able to catch them very cheap. So what do we need to do to make this happen? So the procedure for this catch all campaign is the first you have to go into your advertising account you can call it whatever you want. I call it catch all because that's what it's doing. Start up with a small daily budget. You don't have to start off with a lot. And for us, we consider it, you know, $100 small daily budget. If you want to start lower, totally up to you. But again, it's not going to be as much traffic, depending on how many products, but it's going to be a low bid, which you'll see here in a minute. And uh, it's going to catch a lot of things that you might be missing. You're going to do this as an automatic targeting campaign. And then you're going to go on to the next step. This is what it looks like visually. So those of you guys that are visual learners like myself, of those steps I just went over, that's what it looks like. Again, you'll have all the slides and the SOP to follow as well. So the rest of the strategy, the rest of the steps is you're gonna go and choose an ad group name. And uh, I like to do each ad group separate product. Now, if you have parent listings with lots of children underneath it, you can do the products, all the products for that one parent in the same ad group and then call it that, you know, whatever that product is. So you know that that, pro that ad group is for that, that product. Then you're gonna search for those products and add all those products, that one product or all the products that are in for those, uh, that variation of the parent. And then a very low default bid. Uh, you, we, we usually start these catch-all campaigns at five cents as a default bid. And we click save and finish. Here's the visual of what that looks like. So in this case, I did a uh, Android charging cable example here. And then I just searched for Android. It brought up my Android cables that we were selling at the time. You would select to add it. And then you would go through and just put the default bid, hit save and finish. That's it. Very simple. You would want to do this for every single campaign. Again, it's an auto campaign, and it's going to be a just one campaign, separate ad group for every line of products that you have. So now you just have to monitor this and update it as, as needed. You basically want to just watch it, see how it performs. You know, I wouldn't touch it inside a week. Sometimes it'll take a few days for it to kick in. Uh, you'll start getting some impressions once Amazon does, you know, sees what it is that you're doing. After about a week or so, you might want to start incrementally updating the bid and. Really, you don't go ever, I don't think we've ever gotten above 10 cents. Go, you know, you want to increase it by one cent at a time and let it go a week. It's not something you want to like jump up right away or throughout the day. Let it go little by little and see what it is, you know, if it does and what it works, if it does, great, you move it up again. If he starts having diminishing turns, then you start pulling it back. Uh, like I said before, we usually have not gone over 10 cents. Once we have, we're like, you see something coming up with a great A cost, you're like, wow, I want to get this up there and spending more, but unfortunately, it doesn't work that way. So that is strategy number one, which is our catch-all campaign. So let's open it up. Um, um, Brian, Norman, do you guys see anything come in there? And Brian, do you have any comments on that strategy? No, I think it's a great way to um, to catch some of that low-hanging. You know, we, we, we kind of, you know, certainly in my practice and, and the way that I teach, I, we tend to go for a lot more aggressive. Um, sometimes it's easy to, to forget you know, similar to what I teach as far as like a gold panning technique, this is a similar tactic that is simply, um, you know, running that automatic uh, campaign and having it at a very low bid. I mean, it seems like it's kind of a no brainer, but most of us, including myself, you know, often forget to just to add it on because, you know, certainly myself and my team, we're so focused on like, okay, how, how, you know, we're trying to get break even, we're trying to get the most sales velocity and everything, and sometimes it's easy to not get to or dismiss some of the, the low-hanging fruit that's just kind of, you're, you're just kind of easily collect without any effort whatsoever. Good points there. And I saw one question come in so far, and uh, let's see, Bob says, uh, our second one just came in, but how is 
How is this different from a normal auto campaign? So uh, the answer question, Bob, the way it's different is uh, an auto campaign, I would be doing much higher than 10 cents. Uh, usually it depends on, well, it really depends on the category, but I'll do anywhere from, you know, 50 to 70 cents. Some people don't do even more than that to get the data right away. But here it's starting at 5 cents. So that's, I, I've never turned a uh, auto campaign down that low besides doing a, a catch-all campaign. And then uh, Toby says, should we worry about negative keywords? And the answer is no. Uh, we've, like I said, we, it's, it's just such, such a little data that's coming in here. It's just a matter to catch things that would happen, you know, if people come through. It's, it's, it, I don't even understand how it works. I don't understand the tech behind it. But I know sales come in, and it works at a very low A cost, so we don't touch it. Uh, if you happen to, you know, it, it's an auto campaign, it, it really doesn't need the negative keywords. So I wouldn't worry about that. Would you agree with those, Brian? Yeah, absolutely. So, I mean, I actually, um, I actually teach as far as the philosophy, as far as like why this works. I, I don't, I know we don't have time to get into it now, but we can certainly follow that up um, in, in a future session. So um, yeah, there's, there's specific reasons. And, and to, for those to, to, to kind of clarify too, is that um, this would be an addition. So normally what I teach is like just, just, you know, one uh, automatic campaign and then each SKU has its own ad group we're actually talking about adding on another automatic campaign at this very low bid. So it's in addition to what you would normally run as far as a discovery or a research campaign. Um, and this is simply just to, um, you know, Amazon seller support will probably say, oh, don't do that because, you know, they'll conflict and things will blow up and everything. And they don't know what they're talking about. So fortunately, we do. <laughs> so fortunately, um, you know, I, I would say just try the tactic. You know, just give it a shot. It's it's really easy to set up. Uh, there's no maintenance to it. You know, you're not going in there and having to to optimize it and everything because you're bidding so low. You, you can't help but uh, be profitable at it. Um, it's not going to be you know a huge. You know, you're not going to get rich on that kind of campaign. But you know what? If you can pocket a few extra hundred bucks a month uh, off of a off of a campaign, might as well give it a shot. Totally. You, you, you said something that was kind of interesting because guess how I learned about this camp, how I learned about this strategy, Brian? Working with, a, with, with an Amazon support agent. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's kind of funny. funny. So the, the answer to Bob's question there about the running two auto campaigns at the same time, same, pro, same product, one normal, one catch-all, that yes, that is definitely correct, Bob. So yeah, you want to run, uh, run them both, and this one will catch. So anything you're running on the sponsored ad side, this will catch anything that kind of goes through to the bottom. And, uh, yeah, it's lost sales that you wouldn't have had. So, you're right. It won't, it won't kill it for you, but it do, does make a difference. And uh, all the strategies we're going to go through here tonight, we'll show you how you can overly pay probably many times over that, you know, to work with us in our coaching group. So, uh, that, that, again, it's just some extra money that you can make, and it, it works. So, let's go ahead and hit the uh, strategy number two. Norman, you want to take that one away? Yeah, for sure. Uh, you know, but j before I do this, anybody that's ever tried this, they always get something, eh, Dave? Any anybody that we ever taught this to, they've they've uh, they've come back and they've said, "Oh, I got a hundred bucks. Oh, I got you know a couple hundred bucks there." You know, it's great. You can go out and treat your wife or your husband, and um, sauce machine in Vegas. <laughs> that's like and that's like a month we're talking about too. In the airport, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, this is ongoing. Yeah, exactly. <clears throat> so, anyways. So let's get on to this one. I, I stumbled on this uh, probably a few months back, and this is just taking advantage of really inexpensive, cheap headline ads. And it's going to be interesting because we, we talked briefly with Brian today about it, and um, you know, he, he might have some um, really interesting things to add to this, maybe a, a whole different strategy. But right now, this has worked. People that I've showed this to, they've, they've found results. And all we're doing is taking a creative approach to headline ads, getting very low cost traffic, and taking sales of non-competitive, like zero competitiveness uh, on, um, on, uh, on Amazon. So this simple strategy is going to allow you to take headline ads, which is probably the, one of the most converting ad, get them for pennies, and nobody else is going to be competing. So, you know, how good is that? And also, they're customizable. So, you don't have to have the uh, Amazon standard template. And I'll show you a little bit about that as we go through here. So, Dave, can you go to the next slide? So, first of all, this is what I'm talking about. So, although this is kind of a really bland, kind of boring uh, headline ad, 
you have options here. The, on, from the left, you can put an incredibly creative uh, image there. This is boring. But if you put something creative there, split test it, you'll see the difference. The one over, the copy, look at how boring this is. A medical grade stainless steel for flawless cuts. Now, yeah, yawn. If you put five minutes of energy into coming up with some creative um, uh, titles, you could probably crush it here. People are looking, it's at the top of the page, and you have the opportunity to really target them. And then you have your three different ASINs. And you do need three ASINs to, to run the headline ads. That's um, under normal headlines or if you're using it under ASM. Uh, next slide. Back up. Yep. Uh, so for this, I'm using Helium 10. And we, there is a discount code here if you are interested in Helium 10. Um, we're, not, we're not affiliates. We, you know, if you want to take advantage of the discount, you can. Um, I use their suite to, to grab the information. I'm using Cebro. And you just have to log in and click over to Cebro. If you can go to the next slide. Click Cebro and the next slide. And then what you're trying to do, we have one ASIN here, but if you really want to get um, just like anything, you want to get more data, um, do two, three, four, five different ASINs. And that way you're going to be able to do a reverse search, grab your competitor's keywords, and you'll get some really great information. And especially when you see how we're going to sort this, um, you can kind of use it against them. So, and then the next thing you would do is just take that information, download it, and then sort it. It's simple. Go out put the ASIN in the top left. If you have multiple ASINs, you can just uh, run the report. They'll save in history, and then you can just drop down uh, the, the history button, uh, which is on the top in the navigation bar, and you just select the five ASINs that you're looking for. Now, if you've got a massive amount of ASINs that you've done a reverse search for, we've got tons. And if we're trying to compile a report and we have to search, they have a search field. So if I'm looking for garden shears or lawn sprinklers, I can just start typing, select the ones that I want, and then hit Excel or CSV file, and it's going to download it. Now that, this is probably the most critical part. So you're going to download it, you're going to open it up, and if you're using Excel, you're just going to go over to data, and then sort. You're, you're going to see a few different fields. The fields that you're looking for it's headline ASINs, and you want to go from low to high, really important. The next one is you want to go for the exact, uh, the, the exact phrase, and you're going to go high to low. So what this is going to do is going to take all those really low-hanging fruit ASINs that have zero competitiveness and try to find those keywords that have higher exact phrase. Now, you're not going to see 10,000, 15,000 exact phrase, but I have seen these exact phrase matches that maybe 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, and you know, you start adding all those up, and you just, you know, it's taking candy from a baby. Um, and then the next Norman, one. Can I add, add into that a little bit? Yeah, sure. So, um, so for those, that, I mean, if, if you're not, if depending on whether or not you're following along as far as the strategy, and I thought we had a screenshot that showed the, the Cerebro, um, uh, the ASIN count and that kind of stuff. I'm not sure if we still have that in the slides or not. Uh, yes, it's right after this. Yeah, so think of this is that you've probably heard the strategies for, you know, the philosophy as far as when you're in your advertising, you're trying to pick, do keyword research to go for a long tail, to go for more descriptive. Those that have, you know, four, five, six words to the keywords, they're, they're, they're searched for infrequently, but um, if you can advertise for them and they're very specific, they're very relevant to your target audience, then you're more likely to, uh, to lock in sales without all the competition because not all your competition is doing as much work as you are trying to find those long tails. This is a similar kind of concept because what it's doing is that you are looking for those, uh, those terms, those uh, search phrases um, where uh, competitors – just like those long tails where the competitors haven't done the work in order to start advertising for those long tail terms, they haven't done the work in order to advertise for these headline using headline search ads. So it's an opportunity, it's a, it's a gap in the competitive marketplace that you can take advantage of by looking at which terms, even if they have low, you know, low search volume, as long as they're relevant, um, you can run headline search ads where your competitors are not. So it's a similar kind of concept, you're taking advantage 
of the lack of effort, um, and you're basically outworking your competitors simply by looking for those kind of those gaps. That's 100%. And now the, the next thing that you're trying to do is there's a lot of um, I, uh, there's a lot of keywords in there that just might not be related at all. I just get rid of those. Um, and then we can go to the slide, and this is what we're talking about, all these long tails. So if you can take a look, for some reason I'm cut off. Uh, let me just see. Give me one no, second. Okay, yeah, there, that's better. Uh, so at the, at the top you can see Lawn Gardener Sprayer. And it doesn't, it has, um, it has zero. Go to the far right and you can see all these phrases, these exact match phrases that have zero. And then, I'm not sure why, but it just jumps up to two. This is one of the smaller ones I've seen. I've seen zero go 20, 30 down, and then a bunch of ones, and then a bunch of twos, and then a bunch of threes. And you have so many keywords here, maybe 100, maybe 250, that you get to play with. And if you take a look at some of these, like uh, spraying system, long distance spray, sprinkling system kit. Uh, let's go down to the twos. Uh, I'll make a comment on this too. Is that this, this is the kind of stuff that we like to talk about. So even before you know, sharing uh, with you in, in this format, in this um, teaching webinar, um, we'll discuss this kind of stuff. We, we play around with strategies and tactics and all this kind of stuff in our masterminds. Um, and we've been discussing this kind of stuff you know, for months, right? So one of the things that I want to point out here is uh, you're hearing a lot from a lot of the keyword research tools. You're, you're seeing where the strategy is to, to filter just on the high search volumes. I mean, oh, we're using, we're using Amazon, you know, uh, we're using Amazon data, we're not using Google, and, but what they're, they tend to be saying again and again and again, and I find it both frustrating and funny, is the, the keyword research tools that are using Amazon's data, and there's quite a few of them now, um, the constant strategy that I keep on hearing is, oh, just filter and just show, you know, uh, bid, you know running your advertising or putting your back in search terms or put into your listing content, those search terms that have the highest volume. They're not concerned about relevance. Um, or not really concerned about relevance. None of the keyword research tools have done a good job on the relevance side, in my opinion. But the, the funny thing is that a lot of the strategy, a lot of the, the, the authors, I'll call them, I won't say, say gurus, but a lot of authors will say, oh, only filter it down and just take the top 10, top 20, top 50 keywords that have the highest search volume. But think about this. This is something that Dave and I used to do, you know, years ago. I'm sure, Norman, you probably did too, um, is – in, in Google advertising is that we would look for as many long tail keywords that may have had very low search volume and you add up the total cumulative search volume and you realize that if you are bidding on or considering you know your content 500 keywords that have a small amount of search volume that everybody else is being taught to ignore, and you put that all together and you run the advertising on all these small ones, they add up to more volume than what they're targeting and competing against. So it, this is a great example where you have all of these, uh, these search phrases, some of them long tail, some of them not, where the competition is ignoring two things. One is they're ignoring a lot of these because the search volume is too low, theoretically, and two, they're not running headline search ads. So you've got two chances of sidestepping your competition and getting an advantage on them simply by following this particular strategy alone. And this is one example. If you, if you go and take a look, they're all over. You just type it in, type in ASIN, and you're going to find a ton of zeros, a ton of ones, twos, threes, fours, five, six. I usually cut it off roughly around five or six. Um, but this is easy pickings uh, from zero to, you know, four or five. And you could come away with a couple of hundred. You might even come up with more. I've had one campaign that I split it up, but it was 450 keywords. And, you know, it's making money. And very, very low ACoS, like 5%. Okay, so next slide, Dave. So just in case, you probably all know how to do this, but just in case you don't, uh, go into Seller Central Advertising Campaign Manager and then go to headline ads and create a campaign. 
Now you're going to go and pick your three products that you want. You don't have to pick them in any particular order. Just pick them. And now this is where it comes in. I saw um, that a question came in about uh, can you show us any uh, other examples? And one's coming up of uh, a better uh, headline ad. Uh, anyways, this is where you can take advantage of that really interesting um, copy. Take your time, do two or three, four or five, you know, just look at a copy book if you have to, if you're not used to it. And you can do this, what I normally do is I'll split test this. So I'll just do different types of copy. It could be the exact same campaign, but I'll just split test the, the, the title and see what happens. And it's a dramatic difference in some cases. It could be 30% different. Um, when you go down to the logo, uh, I don't use a logo. Uh, I mean, if it's a really incredible logo and you gotta, you got to have it out there, if you're trying to build brand awareness, fine. But take advantage of this. Make it eye-catching. When somebody sees this, it's drawn over to your, uh, drawn to you, so you click on it. And one way to do this is just take a look at the pictures that are kind of around it, um, just below it, and make sure that people are going to click on it. And you can split test that. You can go to Usability Hub. You can go wherever. But you want to make sure that that image is something that you can, that people are going to click on. And if you have other images, you might have, and I do this all the time, I never settle on one image. If I'm, if, if I'm doing a package design, if I'm doing some type of advertising like uh, on PPC, I'll create maybe three, four, five, just depends what, what I get back. And then I'm using Usability Hub and just split testing, seeing which one I should put up there. So between the headline, the title, the, the logo, and even you know, with, some, uh, with some copy, uh, no problem. And when it says um, um, add, or the add products, this is where you can rearrange. So for we do a lot of uh, one pack, three pack, five packs in case people don't have enough ASINs. Like we, this is, I'm talking about for my clients. So if they need to have, um, if they need to cross promote, if they have three specific ASINs that we could work with, great. If they don't, we tell them to get a one pack, a three pack, and a five pack. And there you go. Now you can use the headline ads. Scroll down. This is what it looks like. Now, this could be, you know, this is natural hair solutions for natural you. Okay, yeah. It could be if it's a gardening tool, um, uh, bringing out uh, uh, something about uh, oh, being a green thumb. Um, it, there's so many different opportunities that you have for, for just engagement. You know, the most incredible blah, 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 blah. Hit a pain point. And you know, find out, go through your, your uh, supplier or your competitor's reviews, see the pain point and target it here. Um, as you can see, this is one of the logos or uh, graphics that we put up. And number three is where you can change them around, whatever product that you want, and then you hit, oh, and where it says uh, top searches down at the bottom, this is actually where you see the different types of searches. You'll see it in the next frame, I believe. All right. For, uh, for the next slide that will be coming, you'll see that we, we have a, a bid. We put $0.37 cents here. You could, put, um, you could put a minor amount. You could put it out at $0.27 cents if you wanted to. Nobody's bidding on them. There's zero competition. So uh, we do shut off the automatic bidding, and um, we enter. Then you will enter the keywords that, you're, um, that you have into a keyword list. Uh, you can run a broad match. You can try it. Um, um, exact phrase match, uh, you can experiment with it. Again, it's not going to cost you, it's going to cost you pennies. And then you just add the keywords. And there you go. So at number one, you want to make sure that you know, have a low bid. And that probably is even a little high. You can go to 27. Turn off the automatic bidding, automated bidding, enter the keywords, and then uh, go to the next slide. Okay, and let me see. So now you just want to make sure that you uh, you that everything is right. You want to ch just double check that you, you that the keywords are correct. It suits your budget. The title in the campaign, everything's set. The daily budget is set. Yeah, you you can set it higher. I just try you know fifteen dollars to see what I get. And I can I can boost it up to a hundred if I'm making money five percent, and it's worth putting it to hundred dollars a day. No problem. You know just let it fly. 
Next. Norman, I'm not sure if you had already answered this one too, but there was uh -huh. a question that came in regarding uh, the availability of headline ads, being able to run ads. Uh, hey, I'm Ryan, sure let's, 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 get, let's get through the, the end of the strategy, then each strategy we do the questions there. Cool. All okay. right, sure. Okay, campaign name. Name it what you'd like. I usually try to break it up um, into what type of campaign it is. Um, we have our own kind of code uh, when we put together any ad campaign. And, you know, if, if, you know, Brian, he's teaching the same thing. You know, you, you want to be able to take a look at your ads and make sure you can identify them. Uh, so I take a look at it. Yeah, this is cool. Uh, the headline ad looks great. Boom. We finish it off. And there you go. Uh, we've had ads where we've generated in a month of sales on headline ads. Uh, we've had one person generate $2,200 in, in income where they would, or in revenue where they never would have had it before. Uh, probably the average we see, it could probably be, I don't know, between two, three, four hundred, and you're running a cost of around five to maybe 17%. You're not gonna get much higher than that. So it's just a really creative way that you can go out there and start marketing your products for a penny on the dollar. And you know what? If you get rejected, Amazon will come back and say, oh, you can't do this. Well, you, okay, you just change it. You're not going to get suppressed, suspended. You just have to change whatever they want. So that's it. Now any questions? Yeah, cool. Let's, uh, Brian, we want to go those questions now that we had that came in? Yep. So I know um, Alan had one, and that had to do with just being able to run the headline ads. Um, yes, of course, it does require any kind of running headline ads does require uh, brand registry. Um, mm -hmm. And so um, that that would be a prerequisite on that. Um, a, a lot of people hold back um, because they don't have the three product minimum. There are there, there's techniques as far as getting around that. That's something that we, we tend to teach internally. Um, as far as how to get around the, the three, uh, the minimum three uh, product uh, requirement of headline search ads. That's a lot more detail than what we're going to get into here, of course. But, um, but yeah, that does, um, does require brand registry still. Yeah, and you know, it's funny you say that because I was talking to somebody last week about that, Brian. And we, we have, um, uh, like, we manage a, a couple of clients and, Somebody came up and said, oh, yeah, do you need brand registry? And I thought, no. And because we had originally, um, because we had the original brand registry, or brand registry, we were, I guess, grandfathered in. Grandfathered in, yeah. Yeah, we have to re-register, you know, brand uh, registry 2.0, but we're still in there. So, yeah, you're absolutely correct. I found out the hard way last week. Well, and to add to that, you know, I mean, and, and not to extend the, you know, the, the, the webinar here too much, but... To add to that too is that you know Amazon continues to make changes to each of the ad placement platforms. You know, uh, headline search ads. If you if you have if you've been relying on the same headline search ads that you set up a year ago, you're missing out on an additional four or five ad placements that Amazon has introduced for headline search ads in the past six months. Um, and so one of the things to consider is start testing out some of the the you know the headline ads that we're talking about here, uh, because you're going to get additional ad placement that you may not even realize that you were missing out on because you were still running those ads that you had created, you know, a year ago. So these, these are all the kinds of things that, you know, we talk about and we take for granted, you know, in, in the mastermind calls and, you know, in some of these workshops and everything. Um, but it's, it's a good, you know, it's a good thing to, to remind everybody that the platform keeps on changing, keeps on getting better. And we keep on learning and, and, and experimenting and, um, showing how to adapt to the new environment and to beat the competition, really. Were there any other questions on the um, on the headline ads, Brian? I thought there was one that came in. Yeah, I think there was some from chat. Let me see here. Tony had one. Uh, is there a benefit of the AMS headline ads over the ones in Seller Central? Um, this one is a, is a debated topic. Um, I've got my opinion on that. Um, I have... Um, you know, I have, so this is something where I collaborate with my own staff, um, and we'll run experiments. And, and what we find is inconsistency. We find where, uh, AMS used to work better for headline search ads. 
Um, and we were thinking that Seller Central was working better for headline search ads, but then we found that it can be product and category specific, and so really it requires some experimentation. So that's kind of a, a long way of saying uh, your guess is as good as ours. <laughs> you know, in the in the it's something you have to test. There's no definitive one one method or one platform is better than the other for that same ad type. Oh, Brian, um, one, of the, one of the things I, I, I forgot to talk about, when you go back and you're monitoring uh, your headline ads, you're going to go in and you're going to see the performance, you see what's converting. Uh, Amazon is going to give you the, you know, 0 to 25, 25 to 50, 50 to 75, 75 to 100, you know, the ability to win. Now, I find it on um, these completely ridiculous. Like they're telling me to bid a dollar twenty-five, two bucks on these words that I'm grabbing for nine dollars. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> so don't go by that. You know, you, these are these are penny. If they're not converting, it's not a big deal. If they are converting, then take it and use it with one of Brian's strategies. Yeah, don't invest more than you can afford to lose. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I think, I, think, I think in that is as long as you are familiar with what your break-even ACOS is and your target ACOS is um, that you adore use in sponsored ads, for instance, that, that also applies to product display ads and headline search ads. Um, be mindful of that. Don't just, you know, throw out, you know, the common sense that you've learned from, from each of the different uh, ad placement types because um, the similar concepts apply to all three. All right, let's move on to strategy number three. I know we could talk uh, paid traffic all night, and uh, we have a lot, a lot of content still to get through. So let's go on. Uh, you guys have more questions. We can answer them in the, in the back there and a general answer at the, at, the, uh, at the end. So let's get on to strategy number three. This one is finding out who, who wrote your product reviews. I know people are always trying to figure out you know, who wrote this review so we can contact them either to, uh, to get them a new product for a negative review and fix it, or to uh, use it for positive. So there's ways we can do that. So we're going to show you in the strategy this little uh, this this Chrome extension that if you guys don't know about, it's called AMZ Fire, and it'll actually help you find the order number for every pretty much every order. I don't think I've ever had a time where it didn't find it. And then you can use those order numbers to contact both your positive and negative reviewers. So it looks like this right here. When you actually have this active, you can uh, go through and on the on your on it has to be your product. It'll go through and it'll, it'll do a little find order button. See a little blue button that pops up there? That is the AMZ Fire Chrome extension being active. You can click on that and it'll actually open up, it'll start finding, it'll try to find it, and it'll usually find the, uh, take it right in your cell essential to the order that uh, that person did that. So how do you do this? Basically, you need to get that uh, that Chrome extension first. It's, I think, $19, uh, you know, and you have to do it in Chrome. So if you don't have the Chrome browser, get the Chrome browser. You can get that right there from that link. And then you want to uh, click on add to Chrome for this uh, to get this. And like I said, I think it's $19. Last I checked, that's very cheap. It's a one-time payment, not monthly. And then a user guide will open up after installing the extension for, with further instructions. It looks like this right here. You click on it. You click on add to Chrome. And it'll say add this extension. And you just click on that. Yes, you do. And uh, it'll add it. After that happens, you're going to want to follow these steps right here. You're going to actually have to have Amazon Seller Central opened and signed into. And then you will have your, uh, you click on your AMZ Fire tool and make sure you're signed into that. And then after that, you go into Amazon, you go into your product, find uh, your product listings that you want to find a, uh, a person who wrote the review for. And you'll see those blue little buttons pop up that put, click on find order. And then uh, now that AMZ, AMZ Fire found your buyer, you can email them directly through the Amazon, uh, you know, through the Amazon encrypted link that they do right through the order. So it looks like this. You click on the little AMZ Fire uh, Chrome extension there. It'll, boom, pop up the orders right there. You click on five, Find Order for whichever one there you want to find. It'll go through and say searching, searching, searching. It might take a minute or two, but then eventually pulls up the order. And then right there, you can email that person. by for this, In this particular case, I click on Steven, and he placed a one-star review. I would send him a message and you know, say, hey, can I, uh, can, is there something I could do to help you out with this, this order? It, you know, I noticed that you said it was broken or whatever the issue was. You correct it with your good customer service. You fix it, and then you ask them if they would be willing to either delete their review or revise it to a more positive review. And uh, nine times out of ten, you could do that. So it's a matter of communicating with them. 
So ideas for emailing reviewers. This is all about great, great customer uh, support, which leads to ultimate success. So for negative reviews, you know, contact anyone, offer them a free replacement or a refund or sometimes both. Uh, then you get them satisfied. You once they're satisfied, then you go through and ask them to revise or delete the negative re review for you. And here's one I think pe probably most people are not doing, and that's where you contact the positive reviewer, you know, for such things as buying a new product at a discount uh, or building them to a VIP reviewer list, whatever. Uh, you already know that they wrote you a good review. They recognize your brand. So why not uh, give them more opportunities to give them another product with your brand. You don't have to give it to them almost free. You know, give them a, a discount. They've already purchased from you, so they know it's going to probably be quality as long as you're doing quality products. And then more than likely, they're going to write you a better, another review as well. So that's a, a way of using this. Now, I saw an, a, a question come in there, the link for AMZ Fire again. All these things are going to be, uh, I know it went through it really fast. We're going to ha you guys are going to have the slides for all this, but I'll go back real quick. I did not say it because uh, I didn't want to wait. Well, I just did a Google search for AMZ Fire, one word. And that's fire as in like flame fire, not so AMZ fire, one word. I just Googled it. First that result too. came up. Yeah, the one, this, this link will actually, if you do it, you have uh, Chrome open, this will just, it'll pop up the extension right there. Just AMZ fire dot AMZ and beyond dot com. So it's just a, a simple redirect better. that we yeah. use, you know, so uh, it doesn't matter. Uh, there's no affiliate commissions or anything with that. So however you find it, that's uh, a way to get it working for you. Uh, let's see, what's the link to the extension? Does it work with accounts that have lots of sales around 20,000 orders a month? It works with any account. It doesn't matter how, how big the account is. So that's the link again. Very simple and uh, use it. It works, to, uh, it works very well, especially if you're you know, uh, finding out who did negative reviews and fix them. You'll get your review rate back up. So let's get on to, uh, oh, we have another question that came in. Lucas says, um, how does AMZ Fire find the order if the buyer name is generic? Well, that's the beauty of it. <laughs> if they have a generic Amazon customer or they put Joe Smo from uh, Seattle, you know, wherever, uh, it will find it. How does it work? Again, I don't know the technology. I just know what works. So utilize it and it, it finds the orders and uh, makes it happen. Uh, I thought the customer ID was encrypted. Well, Richard, it works. And so um, use it. Uh, there's other software that, uh, that people are using. I know that Managed by Stats has like a $100 a month option. This is $19 one-time cost. Use it, it works, and uh, use it to your advantage. Let's move on to strategy number four. This one is a, a very powerful technique. It's using competitive data for your own profits, and uh, you can dominate basically competitors using their data against them. So um, you're, gonna, you're gonna learn about the software that we've been using, very powerful, helps find competitive keywords. It'll continue to learn as you teach it what is relevant to your product. I'll show you what that works, looks like here in a second. It'll find the best keywords then to put into your listing and where to put them based on importance on, on a few different factors. And, uh, and then you can put these keywords into, into your listing and other places, get them indexed for them, and you can use it to, uh, to use for paid traffic as well. So a bunch of ways you can uh, utilize this. Let me show you what this looks like. This is a software that I'm gonna be talking about here in a minute. It's called Seller Tools. It's actually just at seller.tools. And uh, you'll see here in this example, uh, we have the, this genuine leather wallet that is pulling up all this data here. All this data actually was coming from competitors that I had taken some time to go through and just say yes is relevant, not relevant. I'll show you how it works here in a second. But uh, we can use this data then to put into our listings and uh, it tells us which are the most important ones. So let me show you how this works. Procedure is, first of all, we use uh, seller.tools, like I said. You can get a 14-day trial. Just go to seller.tools. Again, there's no affiliate links, nothing like that. Uh, there's a trial offer. It'll work for 14 days. If it works for you, great. You know, you might want to then pay for it. If uh, if you do want to pay for it after 14 days is up, you, this is the link. One of the things I was telling you about in the beginning of the call. We have not shared this. We've only shared this as one of our in our members group. But I told Brian that I was doing some special things for you guys today, and so we are giving this coupon to you that uh, is 20% off the monthly rate. I think they start at $97 a month, so now you can get it for you know just about $80 a month. And if you use Hawaii, make sure the Hawaii is in all caps. Hawaii 20 that will get you 20% off. Again, all this will be in the links that you'll get later. So if you decide to do that, take advantage of it. But for now, start with the trial, get the 14-day uh, the uh, free one right there, select that. And then after that, you need to verify your email address and add your credentials following the directions to sync your account. Basically, it's gonna connect right to your account just like anything else would do, uh, like with, with any Brian softwares or, or whatever. They, you have to click, you have to connect the account first, follow directions, get that set up. After, after it's all set up, then you have to start telling Seller Tools, you know, what is this product about? So you start giving it some information, and once you start making some decisions, it'll come back and uh, it'll tell you 
you know, more relevant based on your decisions you make. So what you want to do is you want to first add some main keywords to what this product is about. Basically what you're doing is you're doing a seed master keyword. So to do that, you can either find three competitor ASINs and you just paste them in there, uh, or you can enter, enter your uh, keyword manually. If you know what your main keyword is, you can put it in there manually, but I like putting the ASINs because they'll tell me, you know, what the competitor is. So what Amazon thinks these competitor listings, what their main keyword is. You do that, hit next. And then it's going to bring up this little box here. You see this is leather buy, fold, wallet, men wallet. The bigger the, the, uh, the, the, the keyword phrase, the more relevant it thinks it is for that product. So this one, it was men, key, men wallet, right? So you can click on one of those to uh, add that as the master keyword. Or again, you can say, I want to specify my own if you're not satisfied with that. Either way, you add the master keyword and, and then it goes into the system. After that now, the, the software, and don't, don't take that much time on the C, key, on the C keyword because this is where all the, this is where the goodness comes in. You're going to have to go through and manually make uh, decisions on when the software brings in these keywords, you have to decide, is it relevant to your product? Is it not relevant to your product? It's the manual process. It will take some time. It could take an hour or two hours per product if you, uh, if you have a lot of keywords, but it, trust me, it's totally worth going through. Anyway, I'll show you how you do it. It'll show you the ones that are in blue are the ones that you already indexed for. Ones that are in the red or pink are ones that you're not indexed for yet. And then you can decide, okay, is it relevant based on the, the keyword, what its phrases is coming up for or not? And then you could finish when you're done. Also, you want to make sure that if you don't finish this, because in this case, I only have 23 keywords to go through, as you see in this example. There could be times where it comes a 1,000 or 2,000 keywords. If that happens and you can't get through it in one sitting, make sure you hit save as draft down there at the bottom because as soon as you hit finished, it's done. And as soon as you leave this page, it's done. So make sure you're always saving it until you get through all of them. In this case, we'll go through all of them pretty quickly, right? You'll see on the, the blue ones, we're already indexed. This product's already indexed for those. The ones that are in that reddish, you know, whatever that color is there, those are ones that we're not indexed for yet. Either way, we're going to go through every single one. So you see that I have that little hand there highlighted on the left of RFID. If I click on, if I hover over that, that arrow, it tells me it pops up those keyword phrases. So basically this RFID is saying that it is for all those keyword phrases there. Now with the exception of probably that first one, which I don't know what that gin taxon is, I do want my product to be relevant for that. So I click to the left and it goes over to the left side. If I don't, if, if, I, if it's not relevant, I would click over to the right side. So you see on the right, I've already clicked over some of those words that are over there and said that they were not relevant. When I go through the whole entire list, I click finish. Now, seller tools will take this data based on what you just decided, and they'll go out there and find now more keywords that it, it's going to ask you, are you relevant? You're going to go through this process over and over again, and you're gonna, it's, it's going to continue making the, sm the software smarter about what your product is, and it's going to help you find more and more data that you do not have, that either you're not indexed for or competitors are, are doing well with, and you need to be indexed. You, you should be making them put them into your listing. Once the uh, once it finds these more keywords, it tells you, and you have to make decisions on whether it's relevant or not relevant, as we did in that last step. So a little bell notification goes off. You look at the top right there, and when you hover over that or you click on it, it tells you the different things. You see the third one down. This is for a different product, actually. It told me new keyword suggestions are, are available. So I would click on that. It would bring on what, what bring up what was on that last step. It will I'll have to go through and make those relevant decisions again. So you want to make sure you have some time to do this, but it's totally worth it. Uh, in this case, once it pulls in all the keywords, and in this example for this presentation, I didn't really do much. This is not a product that we're selling. Uh, it started bringing in some data. So you see it has the, the broad, the exact impressions uh, for the traffic. This, just so you know, this tool, Viral Launch and Helium 10 are probably the three tools that I trust with the actual relevant data that comes in. So this is the real data. All three of those tools I just mentioned are pulling it in from the same place. So that's good data that's coming in. We like to look at the exact impressions. Relevancy is going to be determined based on what it is that uh, this keyword, how relevant is your, this keyword to your product listing. And a TSI score is based on the two factors of traffic, relevancy, and also a third factor of competition, which is really key because you're not seeing much competition here. You are seeing a little bit there, which is, you know, shows the giveaways total for daily and uh, over a week or eight-day time frame there. Uh, how much you have to do to rank for those keywords if you were to do you know, a, a sales velocity. But you're going to go off this TSI score, and that's going to show you later how to put uh, keywords that are really important, the ones that you want to be in your listing, especially right at the front of the title. 
So the procedure now is you want to create and revise your listing by working these most important keywords that the software finds and putting them in the front of your title, working them throughout your listing, your description, your bullet points, search terms, and your subject matter, and that will get you indexed. You only have to do it one time. You don't have to do more than that. Now, there is a thing called density, totally different topic, but for now, we just want to make sure we're working in every one of those keywords at least once into your listing. And then what, the one thing it doesn't do, is it doesn't automatically load it up to Seller Central. You have to go through and copy and paste those into your product listing individually. So this is what it looks like in the keyword manager here. It's going to tell me based on the TSI scores that I was telling you about, that uh, the red being the highest color, so men, wallet, leather, and bifold RFID. Those are all keywords based on the data I had. Now, I realized I didn't do that much with this. I didn't do more than, I think, 50. Uh, if I did 1,000 probably, or maybe even 2,000, this is probably a lot of keywords in this niche, it would be a lot more relevant, a lot more uh, valid of what I should put in there. But in this example, I would have men, wallet, leather, bifold, RFID, and wallets, plural, is going to be different than that singular, worked into the title. And then all these other keywords, I would want to work them into my listing to make sure that all the ones that I was, said I was relevant for, I want to then be indexed for them. So here's some ideas for utilizing this and uh, best maximize the software for you. Uh, allow the software to continually find competitors that are relevant for your listing where you're making those decisions and then continually updating that based on what it brings in by editing your listing, working it, making changes to the data that this brings in. Any misspellings and competitor brand names, you can put those in your backend keywords uh, so they're not visible. You don't want your misspellings visible on your on the front of your listing. And the back end with the you know, brands, uh, there are sometimes that works. Sometimes it doesn't work. I usually put it on the last line of my uh, search terms just so I can uh, use them. And sometimes I'll, I'll actually start ranking for some of them, and I want to be able to use my PPC. Uh, if they don't work or sometimes it, it doesn't always work, I know Brian and Chicken said yes, it will work in some markets. It won't work with others. You know, try to get it work. If it doesn't, then, you know, there's nothing you do about it. But sometimes it does. Take advantage of it. I tell you, when I used to do uh, waterproof cases back in the day, we used to kill it by advertising on LifeProof uh, brand names and uh, made millions doing it. So uh, try to do it, and sometimes it'll work. And then use keywords in the, uh, what it tells you, take download, e extract all the keywords that you have, and then uh, download them, upload them into Amazon sponsored ads, and then you take the best Amazon sponsored ads you have running and update them, upload them into your headline ads. And uh, you're gonna get some major bang from this strategy. So that is uh, a lot of information. There's, I mean, it's a lot more to this, this software, but uh, to give you a quick overview of what it does with the kind of time we have here tonight, uh, what kind of questions came in there, Brian, that we can answer for people? Well, first of all, let me, let me get some feedback uh, from, from people. Give me a one if you're getting value out of this. If you're getting some gems out of this, if you've gotten at least one gem, throw one in there. Awesome. Cool, guys, thank you. I appreciate that. You make me look good. <laughs> um, all right, so jumping into some of the, the questions, and I, and I realize we're not able to address everything. Obviously, we're, we, you know, we're pressed for time. Um, let's see here. So there was a question as far as like um, who owns seller tools and should we worry about data? You know, I think that's probably uh, an individual um, choice as far as whether or not you trust any data or any service provider or outsource at all or any employees. Um, there's a certain amount of, uh, I guess, uh, risk reward involved. Um, the way I look at it is, um, you know, I'm, I'm using multiple tools, you know, between, between them, you know, some are going to play, uh, play good and I try to avoid the ones that, that may have a poor reputation. Um, I have not actually seen where any, any software provider um, has been malicious in the way that they've handled any data that I've provided to them. So, um, and, and, I've, and I pretty much have used everything that's out there. So, while, while I've got my preferences as far as tools to use, I haven't really had any kind of a problem with any of my data. So, You know, um, Brian, I'm going to jump in right there because the next question that Lucas put in there said, uh, what do you think about Keyword Inspector? And, uh, and that's one, that could be possibly a, someone that I, I wouldn't trust with data. <laughs> Just personal preference there. So and I agree. I mean, I, I certainly know what uh, what was put out there, and uh, I argued my points on that. And ultimately, social media um, won out. But that's a personal point of view. But again, right. for for all of my data, I I still use Keyword Inspector every single day. Never had an issue. So um, again, I think it's I think it's your own personal choice as far as who you would who you choose to work with. You know, vote with your money. You know. 
Yeah, I mean, okay. All right, cool. Yeah, well, let's uh, let's go. I know there's there was a... as far as why why an individual tool needs a connection to an account. The way that Amazon presents um, data, um, there's a, there's a few different ways of, of collecting that data. Um, it just simply it simply makes it easier. So, like with seller tools, the way that they're typically, um, you know, why they need it is they're able to. Uh, evaluate as far as the content of your listing. I think they're also looking at the back end search terms, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and that would, certainly would require some kind of a back end um, connection um, in order to help you align the the keywords that you're trying to target with how your listing is optimized as far as the method that they use. So that's why that solution would use um, a tool like that. There's also some other keyword lookups and that kind of stuff that require some type of seller account. And so they simply just say, you know, we're going to use yours because if we use ours for 50,000 people, then they're going to block us. So that's the other reason, just the way Amazon handles data. And I do know they're coming out with some new stuff too, and that's another reason why they need to be connected to your account. And um, there hasn't really been a time where I've, I haven't trusted people, but um, I do understand you have to be careful with that. I did uh, both. I don't know, Brian. I'm not sure if you met them, but I know Norm and I have both met the two uh, co-founders and owners, and uh, they're definitely, in my opinion, very trust, trustworthy uh, people. So, so let's uh, let's move to. Strategy five. Norm, I think that one's yours. yours. Nice. Yeah, this one's a good one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Everybody's paying attention on this one, so. <laughs> so, yeah, hopefully you haven't heard about this. One is pretty new. So there's, you know, all these super URLs and all these little tricks. And, well, you know, this one, definitely take a pen and paper out, even though you're going to get, you know, the slides at the end. So uh, this is just a way to get some external traffic right to your own page, forget about any competition, and it's done really incredibly simple. So it, this is a way that you can take a hidden keyword and start to rank by driving traffic over to your page and or, or over to a search results page, and you're the only person there. And so they only have really one choice. Uh, so anyways, um, well, sorry, the screen just moved. Uh, this also uh, helps, you've probably all heard that if you drive a lot of traffic over to your product listing, that you can damage your conversion rate. Um, and I've had this happen. I've had a, a product that was uh, doing extremely well. And the person that, uh, my, the, the client didn't know, didn't inform me that he was doing 180,000 email campaign to his uh, listing. And it brought it from like a really incredible um, conversion rate down to about 3%. He, damaged, he really damaged it and we had to work a little bit to, to get that back up. But it took a, took a lot of damage control. And what this does, it's kind of the liaison. It's saying, okay, if you really want this product, click here. And I'm the only guy on the block, so just click here. So let's get into it, Dave. So this is what it's gonna look like. So I'm gonna show you just how to create uh, a simple URL, and if you take a look at the search bar, it says genuine leather wallet, and there's nobody else there. It's you. And if they click on it, probably they're motivated to buy, which is going to drive up your conversion. So you're going to get a little bit of a bump. Like if you're driving traffic from Facebook or wherever, you're bringing it over to that page. It's not going to hurt your listing. It's going to go there, then they can click on it. So this is how you do it. It's really simple. You're going to go in. Go into your uh, into inventory. Uh, go to the select your product. Go to keywords, and then in search terms, type something incredibly unique. Now, if there's a chance that it's going to be on a competitor's listing, don't put it in. Like we've shown here, just put in a, a random uh, group of letters, numbers, whatever you want, and then you just hit um, finish. What will end up happening is, uh, oh, yeah, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm just got mixed up here. So if you take a look, what we're going to be trying to do is we're trying to now um, rank the Genuine Leather, Leather Wallet with that uh, URL. So if you take a look at this URL up top, right at the end where it says, uh, where is that? It's the first grouping. It says keywords equal Genuine plus Leather plus Wallet. From that point on, we're going to just be removing that ugly part of the URL. I think it's on the next slide. 
Yeah, right from here. Now be careful because what you're going to find is you see genuine leather wallet twice in that longer URL. And uh, we've had people call us and say, this isn't working, this isn't working. Or they're removing the wrong piece or they're not removing the right piece. You have to do it at this point. After keywords equals your keyword. And then you're going to replace it. Now it's going to look like this on the bottom. And it's going to replace it with and hidden hyphen keywords equals and that hidden keyword. So just go through that again. You're going to remove that that piece I just showed you, and present hidden hyphen keywords equals and the keyword. And that's right here in this, if you take a look at this URL. So next, if we go to the, uh, the next slide, this is what it's gonna look like. If you take a look at the URL up top, if you take a look at the genuine wallet, and it's landed right on this page. So no competition, you don't have to worry about it as long as it's 100% unique. Um, so what the best way to use this is like we were talking about before. If you're writing a post or a blog article, if you can get any type of traffic whatsoever, you can drive it over to that page without, being, without having to worry about it affecting the conversion. So targeted traffic on Facebook or on Pinterest or Instagram, uh, one of the things that, uh, that we like to, this might be a little bit advanced, but you can create uh, content-rich uh, product pages. And you've probably seen them where you've had four or five different products on a page, and your product is you know, voted, of course, 100%, five stars, and then you've got four competitors. Well, that five-star um, link goes right back to the, that product link. You would just link it using that, um, that URL. Now, one of the advanced tactics that we have is we use a link rotator. So you can put in different keywords and it's the same thing. You just have to load it up the same way and just add the keywords and it'll rotate every time you go to the listing, whatever way that you want it. Certain, um, certain rotators have um, a weighted system and it's just a percentage. Let's say that you have genuine leather wallets and you want that to go to the listing 50% of the time, RFD wallets, 25% of the time, genuine RFD wallets, another 25% of the time. So it just allows you to get the traffic that you need over to the, the page. So that's about it. And this definitely works. Any questions on that? Cool. So I just, I did just answer one in there about uh, uh, as far as, let me see, I just had a couple things switch on me. So Ed was asking, do these, these hidden keyword URLs work better than store URLs or brand URLs for ranking? And uh, I answered yes, because it gives juice to that main keyword. In this case, you know, we did the genuine leather wallet. So it's, it's where Amazon sees it as you're searching for that main keyword, and then they buy from that keyword. Or even the, you know, a lot of times they're going to, clicking on that listing, even if they don't buy, and they just do add a card, add a wish list, or some of that stuff, interact with your listing, you're going to get some value of that. But they buy it. It, it's very, very powerful. So yes, it, it works a lot better than a store URL or brand URL. Though you still want to mix those other ones come in. You never want to use ever one tactic uh, as, as 100%. Uh, let's see. We had other questions come in from the Q&A box. Now let's see what's in there. Uh, where do we get a keyword rotator? Is it Brian asks. I don't put answer live on that. There's a lot of different uh, uh, places to get keyword rotators on that. Are there any you guys want to share? Oh, the one that I'm using, I don't know, Brian, um, do you have one that you, you normally recommend? No, I mean, just because I use a third party, and so I actually don't know what they call it because I, I just outsource it. Yeah, I'm, I'm using, uh, for me, I, I'm using one from Thomason. So uh, Thomason.com, and you can just go in there. It's very simple to use. Uh, so that's one that you can use. There's another one that I was using. I'm, trying to, I'm looking up my phone right now because I do know what it is. I had it in here. We were testing out the, um, uh, where is There's it? There's tons of them out there. There is. If you, if you just go do a keyword link rotator, you'll find tons of them. I, I can't see the one that we were actually using here, right here. But uh, there's, a, there's a lot of different ones that you can definitely use. It's, you want to be able to make it so if you can get some keyword rotators that will actually vary based on percentages, like you want to spend more percentage on, on certain keywords than others, that, those are the ones that work best. Yeah, and the Thomason one does that. 
That's good. Yes, that's good. Uh, Brian says, can we just use the brand URL? Uh, you could, but you're not going to get as much value with that keyword. So up to you, but this works better than the brand URL. Can you guys talk about what new Amazon extended ad network beta is? Uh, Mari says, not on the, not on this call. We can't, we got tons of stuff that we're talking about already. Mari, sorry about that. Uh, what, so let me see, this is a one from earlier about the headline ads. So we can get to that one later. Uh, if altering the search URL result, I heard there's some sort of stamp hidden in that URL. Do we need to worry about that? With uh, Andy, this one, no, you don't need to worry about that uh, whatsoever. This is uh, working really well, which is these, everything we're teaching you guys is things that we use in our business. Norma and I are expert yeah. sellers. We are doing very well. These are things that we're implementing in our business right now, and we're killing it with that, and we're teaching our members how to follow right in our footsteps with that so yeah uh, it, i think what they were referring to was the uh the super URL timestamp that, that oh used to yeah be used by a couple of years ago yeah you don't no. even bother with that yeah this is this works the, and I, I wrote this in the chat but this this is the closest thing you can get as far as the link juice for a keyword then then search find buy so having a customer go search for a product find your product and then buy it it that will always be better but this is almost as good so good. I don't see. Do you see any other? Oh, there's three more. Three more messages come in. Uh, Key rotator. Uh, the store URLs I am talking about have the keywords embedded. The store URLs I'm talking about have the keywords embedded. Uh, Ed, that's good to use as a secondary. Again, I wouldn't uh, put. I would put more focus on this one. Zon Pages has a good one. Okay, Ryan, that's good if you have a, a good rotator with that. And how is it called? Thomason.com. So oh. I'll I'll spell that in here for you guys. Sure. It is actually a strategy that uh, that we use a lot. We teach our members. Uh, we have, well, I want to say six or seven hours of content just on that topic alone. Uh, it's influencer marketing, and it works really good uh, as far as launching new products, uh, getting new pro the, uh, old products ranked again. It, it's a great, uh, a great. There's a lot of strategies involved with that one. Can you go over the hidden keyword slides again, real quick? Brian says no. Brian, I can't because we have another. We have more to get into. Uh, we, you guys will get the recording on this. You can go through and pause as you need. And you'll have the actual slides right at the end of this conversation, at the end of the uh, presentation, and um, you'll have access to all that stuff. So if that's it for those questions, let's move on to the last strategy, which is uh, your secret weapon to massive profit, uh, profits, having a strong mentor success group. This is something that has been the one thing. Out of, so strategies always come and go. You know, training will change all the time. And if you guys were on the beginning of the call, this is what we talked about. Brian, myself, Norman, we all say that this is probably the most important thing that has got us to where we are in our business. It's really, it's an yeah. opportunity where you're going to be able to, to get an unfair advantage over other Amazon or e-commerce product sellers where you, because you're surrounding yourself with other successful entrepreneurs that are having success. That is the way to do it follow in someone else's footsteps. There's no reason to you know, pave the road, but you, you have opportunities to do that and you want to take advantage of that. By having a, a strong mentor coach, you'll be able to achieve success much faster even by following the, their guiding light to achieving that success. If you're following someone else who's already done it, it's so much easier to achieve success. The problem is finding those people to follow. Success, we always say success leaves clues, so what's better than to gain confidence from other people's success to implement into your own business? So I know Norman, you always have a lot to talk about this, and Brian, I'm sure you would too. <laughs> Norman, you want to share just maybe uh, one story or something that this, that, why this has helped get you to where you are at today in your business? Yeah, sure. Well, uh, meeting you. Because, <laughs> you know, where did we meet? We met at a conference, and we started talking, and we, we knew a few people, and sort of uh, our values aligned, and we started talking. Six months later, we said, you know what? Why don't we find a way that could be an affordable way to help people uh, build their Amazon business? Because what we always found is always these people that, that had $5,000, $10,000 a month, $15,000 a month, but they couldn't get up beyond that. And they just didn't know why. They, they might not have taken action or they just needed a little bit of a bump and it, just a little bit of guidance. So that's how we met. But, you know, way beyond that, um, like I'm really passionate about this and r usually right around now when you start talking about oh mentors you know people wondering like how can that even help I sp and I don't I don't do this to, to brag at all but I spend a lot of money on um, on going out to conferences events everybody knows me I, like I, I spend my own money I'm going out like, I'm going to Israel tomorrow 
Um, you know, I spend a lot of money, 7,500 grand a year easily. But what I get back from that is, you know what, I might get a little bit of content, but what I get from the network and knowing people and rubbing shoulders and saying, you know, hey, Brian Johnson, you know, blah, 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 blah. And three months later, oh, yeah, you remember that thing, that nugget you told me when we were over here? And I've got somebody that I can talk to. And without that, you're by yourself. And you're only as good as your receptionist or your mother and your father or your brother and sister who know nothing about the Amazon business. Maybe they do. But I've just found that tapping into um, a community, a network, is the only way to grow a business. And you learn how to do it in a way that's automated and scalable. Anybody who knows business knows that's the only way to build a business. That's my spiel. <laughs> nice. Well, and I, and I would add to that to say it's like, you know, that's one of the things that um, I've certainly have learned over the years, uh, the decades at this point, um, is um, the, the big, if I were to go back and do and change the way that uh, I've built up, you know, different business projects over the years, um, you know, the one thing that I keep on getting beaten into me time and time again is trying to do things on my own, trying to do things alone, trying to shoestring everything. Um, you know, there's a reason that investors go after companies and they try to fund them so they can hire a whole team of people in order to contribute rather than um, just looking at, you know, the one man band who's doing this one thing. Um, you know, if, if we try to do everything on our, on our own, um, you know, certainly from my experience is that I have a much higher likelihood of failing um, and, and even worse, taking a lot longer to achieve any kind of success that I can, that I can be proud of. Um, and so I've learned, I continue to learn with every project that I do, I continue to learn the value of networking, the value of plugging into people who may not, who definitely don't have the same skill set that I have, but I can collaborate with, I can mastermind with, I can learn from who can be my mentor, my coach. Um, an example on that is um, like one of my uh, one of my business partner um, I, my business partners I tend to work with people who push me to push me hard push me be, beyond my comfort zone and while that sucks and there's sometimes where I lose a lot of sleep <laughs> uh, some, of, some of you already know is it, it pushes me to the next level of me as a business owner and multiple business owners at this point um, and it can, makes me much more successful with each iteration. Um, I've, I've had a couple of great years because of I plugged into people and I trusted people to like you know literally asking them. I want you to push me, push me. I want you to, to push me so hard that I'm forced to learn. I'm for, you know forced to grow, and I've never regretted. I mean, it's hard during it, during it, you know during that time, but afterwards I look back and I can't imagine to have not have done that. You know, have not plugged into people who would have pushed me hard, who would have coached me, who would have been a mentor um, to me. Good stuff. Yeah, and uh, I, I totally I agree with what you guys are saying because uh, there will be a slide here. We're talking about lost opportunity costs. So we're talking about uh, lost time or the money that's cost for you guys to, to learn yourself. It's all about lost opportunity costs, which we'll talk about here in a, more in a second. So, hey, um, hey, since, Sorry. Yeah. Sorry, yeah. Dude. The other thing I wanted to add – is that this just happened the other day. I, I've got a, uh, a buddy that I, I was stuck trying to figure out this, this little, uh, this issue that came up. And it must have taken me about a half hour. And then I just tapped in, contacted my buddy on Facebook. And within, I don't know, three minutes, he said, try this. And it worked. So, you know, it's again, it's, it's being able to tap into that network as well as Think of these people that you network with and you find maybe not as just the network, but almost as a, a board. You, you know, you can, you can find five people or six people that you can become confident to, or, you know, confident to your board of directors, your board of advisors. And most of us don't have that ability. So that's what a, a, a mentor or a group of people can do is act as, okay, PPC, um, it, it could be marketing, it could be whatever department you want. They have the expertise in. I know uh, Brian was just saying that, but it's so important. Good stuff. And then here in this next slide, you know, we talk about success leaving clues. So if we look at what other says successful, you know, uh, expert business entrepreneurs are doing, we find these things that are in common. They're always full of determination. 
they're willing to take risk, maybe have, they have a high level of confidence, strong desire to learn and invest in themselves, which is what all the stuff we were just talking about, and also have that strong mentor or success group to follow. Most of these successful entrepreneurs, if you go back and look, they will tell you that having a strong, uh, some kind of support system, whether it be a mentor, uh, a success group, or combined is what got them to where they're at, and they would not do it today without it. Uh, the power of having a mentor mastermind. So when it comes to you know, what it's going to do for us and what it's going to do for you is, first of all, it's going to help increase your working performance by sharpening your focus, get, making you focus on the right activities, kind of like what we've been doing here. We're talking about different strategies. We want to clarify what your priorities are, and, and it can do it in a way that you couldn't see. There's a lot of times that my wife will see me, and she'll say, hey, why aren't you doing this, or have you ever thought about that? Just having that other person to bounce an idea off of or redirect you is sometimes can make all the difference in your business, right? You want to always, and this business is ever changing. You know, there's things I was talking to Brian before this call where I didn't even know some of the updates like four months ago. And, you know, I kind of like to think that I'm really up to date with stuff. And Brian was like, oh, yeah, that changed four months ago. I'm like, oh, my gosh, I guess we need to talk more often. Didn't even realize that. But you want to make sure you're continually updated of what is working now so you know how to effectively implement that into your business. If you're trying to do this on your own, you know, you're going to an event once a year or twice a year, you're going to fall behind because things are changing so fast in this business. You need to be part of that success group and have a mentor. Otherwise, you know, you're just going to fall behind. The other people are going to run, just go flying past you like in a race that, that you just like maybe lost. You don't have any more water or food in your system, right? And this is where I talked about, you know, preventing lost opportunity costs, wasted time and money by learning from the success and failures of others. Opportunity cost equals opportunity loss. Whether it be time you're wasting, whether it be money you're wasting, or a combination of both, it could be that could be cut, you know, even half or or down to nothing. So you're actually utilizing that now. It's a whole uh, economics principle of uh, op lost opportunity, where you can take advantage of that now, so you're not having these things happen to you. So in this business, I do hear this all the time. I even hear, you know, even people are actually there's a webinar that was on yesterday that people are saying that. Oh, you know what? Amazon's not working anymore. So let's move on to the next thing. Let's go on to the next shiny object, right? Uh, i tell you what. People might be struggling, but it's not because Amazon's not working. It's because they don't know what they're doing or how to implement things correctly. Or maybe they learn something from a course that's outdated or something that they learned four years ago. And even though they're getting updates on some of those courses, they're not getting to where they need to be. And it's because the struggling is happening because they are not keeping up to date with stuff. So most people are trying to figure it out on their own. Uh, and it's ever-changing business. Like I said, sometimes it's changing daily. Uh, if you're trying to do it by yourself and no one, you have no one to bounce your ideas off of, good luck. You know, it's, it's going to make it really difficult for you. Uh, but you can, uh, most people recognize that they, they have a need, but they can't find solutions. You know, they're looking for these courses, they're looking for other mentors, but uh, do you ever feel like that? The guy at the bottom there where you're just screaming at your computer, explicits, whatever, right? Because it's, it's frustrating, right? Well, we have a solution. And this is where Norman and I, when we met, we started talking about this need that was in the marketplace, and we said, hey, let's create a solution, and that's where we come in with this AMZ and beyond that Norman, started, Norman and I started last uh, September, I believe we started. So we wanted to create a place where it was safe, where we can mentor and coach people, online product sellers, where we can help people overcome their struggles and achieve success by modeling what we have. You know, we have great success. We wanted to help teach others by modeling what we do. We had to create a safe environment with that, though, and we did. We did not want to make sure, we didn't want to have the time, we don't have the time to individually coach, and even though it would be more profitable if we were to do that, it would be a lot more time consuming. But we wanted to come together, we created an online pl uh, platform where we can do kind of the, the uh, personal individual mentoring, but do it in a group setting where we can all learn from one another. And then we wanted to make sure we had an affordable solution where people were not paying thousands of dollars a month for that private mentor, but uh, having to pay private consulting fees, but do it as a group. We can make it much more afford affordable. So this is the solution that we came up with, and it was called AMZ and Beyond. So here's what we're going to tell you a little bit about what it is. And we, obviously, I can't tell you in a small amount of time what AMZ and Beyond is, but I can only tell you a little bit about it and, uh, and what it is that we do, and then you guys can ask us more questions, and we can definitely answer as much as we can. But we have live interactive mentoring training calls that we do now three times a month. We do two of those calls that are focused on mentoring and training uh, based on co co questions that our members submit, questions, topics, and then we also can do uh, requested hot seats where we actually go over their product listings or their seller's account or we go into their PPCs or their Facebook ads or their Shopify issues or whatever it is. They tell us what it is they want, we want to cover, and we cover it for them on these training calls. We have new training uh, content that we provide every month. 
with what's working in our business now. Just today, before this call, Norman, I don't know if you saw it, but I posted a, a, a training video, I think it was about 20 minutes long, where I went through and people were asking us about creating virtual bundles. How do we do it? How do we do it correctly? And so I, I did that this morning. I posted it in the members area and they have that. It's just training as needed. We put it in there. I'm going to be doing another one on sponsored ads uh, tomorrow morning that people were asking for as well. Uh, there's an opportunity for members to ask us questions, anything that's related to your business, through voice and screen sharing as needed on our live calls. So we use this Zoom, that US platform, but it's very different than what you guys see here now. Because what we do is we have the, this is the webinar side, we do the meeting where you can see everybody. I call it the, the Brady Bunch. It's kind of like that, you know, you know, here's a story, love it late, and they have all the people, all the kids popping up or whatever. It's like that. We get to see everybody. We can talk as needed. We mute out when we don't need it. We can each share a screen as needed. We can share whatever we want. And it becomes a very close-knit, interactive group. Our members absolutely love it. And uh, it's, 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 it, we create a very safe place where we, they can feel comfortable. We can all feel comfortable sharing. Norman and I share things that we're doing in our business, our own products. We're not scared to share. You know, we actually show you exactly what it is that we're doing in our business, and so do our people. So we do over-the-shoulder training, and uh, we show a process of launching products from all the way to inception, from just starting out to the most using the most up-to-date marketing strategies. So that's all included in the calls as well. And then we have special guest trainers. In fact, next in two weeks, we have Brian Johnson, Mr. Truly right there. That's going to be on doing Amazon PPC stuff. And uh, where people, we have the guest trainers that come on, and they uh, add knowledge and opportunities that, uh, that people have been asking about. So we have a lot of people asking about PPC. Boom. We get our buddy Brian Johnson. He pops on, and, uh, and, we, and we try to do that. Usually we try to do it once a month, but it's been happening, I think, from the very beginning, Norm, right? We've had, I think from the very beginning, we've had two guest speakers every single month because we just, oh, yeah. there's people, right? Because between you and I, we know a lot of people, and people are asking for it, so we always over-deliver, but we definitely will get one every single month. So that's the training calls. Then we have our Facebook group. Basically, there's things that we can interact with our members in between calls. Right now, we're in this like little gap because we do our calls the second, third, and fourth Wednesdays of every month. It just happened to be that this month had a fifth Wednesday, so we're actually going three weeks between calls. And so we have people putting questions and stuff in the Facebook groups, and we just go ahead and we answer that. And we actually have members. We have experts in our group to answer to and other people that are – Maybe not considered experts. They know the answer. They go through an answer, and, and everyone helps the other. We're all paying it forward mentality. Uh, more complex questions that are posted in the Facebook group, we then cover visually on our live calls. And like I said, we do uh, you know, more in-depth stuff as topics or, or needs for that. We, uh, we have requests for training. Like I said, people are asking about the, uh, the bundle stuff, so I did a virtual bundle training today. We, anytime we have new updates and announcements, we'll pop it in there about new strategies, what's working now in between calls. And then uh, we have different discount links. So there's a lot of times we'll have resources that we share with our members. And like Norman said, we, you know, we are not here to make money. We're, we're here to give our best possible deals that we can for our people. So what we do is, like with that, that whole, um, the 20% off we had there with Seller.Tools, we take out our affiliate commission. We give it back to our members because our members are paying us monthly. There's no reason we need to stick it to them for more. So we give whatever it is our price, we give it back to them. In fact, we have a deal with uh, Thomason, so we talked about that a little while ago, that there is a $599 a month program that Thomason has. I think it's their enterprise version of Thomason or whatever. It's their major package. We get that to our members. You're going to love this. Brian Johnson doesn't even know this. We get that package, this $599 package for $49 a month for our package to our, our members for $550 off. I mean, the people works. love it. We get deals like that. A month. I feel like it's one of those uh, the the product shopping uh, channels. You know, it's like oh, for only forty nine dollars. For only, yeah. <laughs> so we we get deals like that all all time because between Norm and I, we know these people. We're friends with them, and we say, hey, we want to hook up our members. What can we do? Take our commissions out of it. We want to give them the best deal, and we do that. So um, yeah, I think I already mentioned there about members helping other members. We're all helping uh, one another. Then we also have our private member website. It's our central location where we host everything. So all the recordings. So if you can't. If you can't make our live calls, or even if you want to watch them again, training, all that stuff, we have in our, in our, in our membership site where you can access it on your convenience on demand. We have uh, extra video training, which I was telling you about like I did today. We post it in there along with our live calls resources and links as needed with each. We have slides. We have uh, the PDF versions of all the slides. We have the uh, timestamps of everything that's on our call, exactly when it's introduced. I mean, it's, it's, it, we have long Long calls, right, Norman? We sometimes there's times we've gotten four hours 
on a call. It's absolutely yeah, ridiculous. That's, that's been it. Yep. For over four hours. Right. And, but if you don't know, if you, if you don't have time to go through four hours and you just want to hit the main points of that, uh, of those four hours, we now have a timestamp slides where you can say, oh, you know what? I really wanted to learn about this particular thing. You can go right to it. Or maybe you submitted a question. You want to know when it's answered. You can go right to it based on the uh, timestamp of the slides. Uh, we have a private vault where we include any software courses, video, uh, all this links and stuff that we have. And then Norman loves these. He's, uh, he's known for his SOPs. We have uh, lots of standard operating procedures where we have for direct implementation, of which you guys are going to taste of tonight because those five strategies that we share with you, you're going to get access to all five of those as well that you can either implement yourself or you can give to an outsourcing team to implement for, for them to do it. And then uh, I love this one. You don't have to do this one, but you uh, as a member will have the opportunity to join our live in-person high-end mastermind. Uh, that is where twice a year we meet in some exotic location. Why exotic? Because Norman and I like to have fun. So we go in, in play cool places like Hawaii. We went there in January. Uh, and we have our next one in Greece. We see that bottom below there in Athens, uh, August 9th to the 15th. In fact, Brian Johnson is going to be one of our experts, so he is going to. Super pumped about that. He's bringing his wife and his son. Uh, and we go and we do hands-on things in your business. We have a very small, intimate group, no more than 12 people. I think right now we have nine people signed up, and we will work over, you know, in this case, it's a, it's a seven-day, six-night thing in Athens where you're going to be, we're going to get a couple houses. We all stay together. We learn. We build relationships together, and we have a blast. You'll do hands-on learning training that's actually in your business over your shoulder. So we're working with you in your business, directly implementing all these things we talk about and whatever it is that you need. And we will have fun doing it. So we have a, a fun excursions, sightseeing, we eat great food, attain, uh, we attend live entertainment, et cetera. Well, like the most important on that is it's, it's, not, it's not this conference center lecturing, you know, where you're sitting in a crowd taking notes. This is, you know, hands-on workshop every single day. So it's going to be and Even when we're not, so like, for example, Brian, we have, we have one day, one of the first days we get there, our entire group for the whole day, we have a private yacht that we rented out just for our group. We'll be on the Mediterranean sailing, just going to Greek islands and whatnot, having great food, entertainment, and um, you know we're going to be talking business. You know, we're going to be talking business, building those relationships while we're swimming and snorkeling and all that other stuff, uh, but it's time that you're going to be able to spend with us and our experts, and uh, you know, Brian, I'm curious, because just... I've been telling people the value of this, and I'll, I'll, we'll tell you more about this at the very end because uh, we do have a, a few different opportunities available if, if anyone wants to jump on this. But I know Nor I mean, uh, I know what Norm and I charge for our time. What, what would, if someone were to get you for a day, what would you charge for your services? I'm just curious. For a whole day? Yeah, well, how about an hour? Well, I mean, yeah, my hourly rate is 750 an hour. Okay, so if someone were to so, grab you for eight hours? Yeah. I don't think I've ever actually had anybody who's hired me for the entire day. <laughs> um, but, um, yeah, just, just because, I mean, a lot of the stuff that I do is not, is not you know, like, like any of us, it's, um, it's not the stuff that you hear, you know, the kind of stuff that we're going to deliver in, in an hour like that or in a day like that is not going to be the stuff that's just regurgitating of course material and that kind of stuff. This is very specific to, to accounts, to businesses. It's very customized. And so... It, it, you have to have, um, you know, you can only do that. There's only, there's only so many people in the industry who have that kind of experience. They can actually just work on, on the fly like that in a situation and be able to provide uh, actionable advice um, on the spot based off of something that maybe they haven't seen, you know, seen before. So that's a, that's totally. a huge advantage, huge, huge progress that can be made in a short amount of days. I totally agree. You will walk out of there making a lot more money than when you showed up. And uh, yeah, so if you're charging $750 an hour and, you know, you guys will be able to hang out with Brian for almost a full week, you know, including myself, including Norman, including a few other experts. Uh, wow. It's incredible. Uh, the music, I was, a couple of questions that came in. Will we be offering any, tra any uh, training on, on Facebook ads and many chat? Michael, yes, we have. We have that uh, already in our training and we will do it more as needed. And then Richard said, any training or strategies on getting reviews? And we talk about reviews all the time, Richard, including launching. That happens often. And uh, yes, all the everything. We cover whatever it is you need in your business. It's, uh, it's, it's in there. Like Italian would say, it's in there. It's in there. So uh, let's look at the – oh, this is a, a slide I have. This is our group in Hawaii. 
This uh, was our last night that we had on the Big Island. And uh, cool, uh, very close-knit group where we got to have a good time. The only person that's not in there is, is Kevin King and his wife. They came down as well and uh, just had a blast. Uh, the, it, if you guys, when you guys see the, play, the, uh, the Grease video we have, you can see it's like a four- or five-minute video. And the impact that we had on our attendees was uh, is incredible. We had we had one gentleman actually that uh, uh, he was able. One tactic that he found was with Norm. I think you were working with him. It was yep. worth a hundred thousand dollars more to his business a month. A month. One thing that he got from just working in his PPC account. Yeah, uh, I had think, a heart attack. Uh, can you find something like that for you in your accounts? <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry, Norm. What'd you say? I said, I had a heart attack when I looked at it and went, oh, my gosh, you just have to do this. Right? So the value of us being over your shoulder is uh, it's, it's, it's really priceless. Um, and then, as, you know, some testimonials. I'm not going to read through these. So we just had some testimonials of what people were saying about our group. And, uh, you know, this is how it, we're beyond expectations and how everything that they're implementing is just, you know, really paying out. This is Maria, New Jersey. She was actually, her and her, her dad were actually at our Hawaii event. We have uh, Alejandro here from Mexico. And uh, what I love about Alejandro, he actually came to one of our events that wasn't a sanctioned, uh, you know, high-end mastermind, mastermind event. It was the ASD and the Prosper event in, in Las Vegas last March, I believe. And uh, you know, he just said that you know it was like it was like a family. We all came together and and uh, you know just got to know each other, and, and it was it was he's like family now, which is incredible. It's awesome. And then uh, this is Liz. Liz actually helps us a lot with our Facebook group here, and uh, she says very rare opportunity that you guys have here that uh, you can have a mentor over your shoulder doing these things for you. So you can read that more when you guys get the slides. And uh, I just want to get into what this is, this opportunity, and then get, uh, get going here. So we, can, we have only 41 people that are actually live on this call. And if you guys weren't on the beginning, you guys are going to have an opportunity to win $100 and a free month of membership. And it is going to be very, very uh, – it's, it's going to be easy. I shouldn't say easy. It's going to be – the odds of you winning are much better than having hundreds of people on the call. That's what I'm trying to say. So anyway, in addition to everything you get in our membership, you'll also receive these exclusive bonuses. These bonuses are what you're going to get if you act on what we're going to give you. Again, if, it, if it's something you want to take advantage of, great. If, if not, that's, that's totally up to you. I would say make sure you do find yourself a mentor or mastermind because it is needed in our business. But these are things that we're going to have available until the end of this offer, which I think we're ending on Monday, uh, this next Monday here at whatever day that week is. I think it's the, would that be the 4th of June at midnight Pacific? Anyway, these bonuses are something you guys can take advantage of. We have a whole absolute brand new private label course that I've been putting together here where it is no holes barred and it's probably going to be better than any course that you've ever had, including if you purchase ASM, it is going to blow that away because it's going to be stuff that's going to be directly to you. And uh, I'm going to be selling that for 1997 here very soon. You get access to that for free. You're going to get access to the past three months of our replays and training. So if you think about what members are paying uh, in this case, they're paying two ninety seven most of the time per month. So it's about nine hundred ninety one dollars of value right there. You're not only going to be able to access your month of calls, you're going to be access to three months of those calls and the trainings that were provided with that. And then the last one is we have very specific specific bonuses that are deal with our live event package, and uh, you're going to be able to just purchasing a bonus pack, a person a package, you're going to be able to take a discount off a future event. Whether you're going to Greece or you want to do someone in the future, but uh, those are gonna be bonuses, bonuses that you're gonna, you guys are gonna be able to get with this package. Norm, do you want to say anything? You're covering it. Okay. All right. I saw you unmuted. So, all right. So now it gets them down to it. Now, what is this? Is not gonna be any hard sell, but I'm gonna tell you that we can easily sell this for the prices out on the screen right now, uh, and we can get easily $500 a month. There's a group that I know of that's getting a $397 a month that gives maybe a third of what we what we offer, uh, but. We are not going to charge that for you today. You know, Brian, I told him, say, hey, you, know, you get us on with your group here. Not only are we going to over, over deliver with these strategies, but we're going to give you the best possible offer we can. So we're not going to do these regular prices. We're going to make it so it is really affordable for everyone. So let's just cross that one out and uh, look at what the real prices are. So the, the special limited time deal that we're doing for Brian Johnson's members, we have a uh, monthly version down to $297. This will include a $297 live event bonus. So it doesn't matter if you want to go to Greece or you want to pocket it for you know, two years down the road. You can get that and use that as a discount right off your live event when you're ready to use it. So basically, it makes that first month free for you because you're going to eventually want to go to live event. Because once you, get, once you see what this is all about, you're going to, pretty much everyone in our group, they want to go to live events. It's just a matter of when they can come and when it works best for them. Uh, the better option is a six-month package where you're basically getting a month free. Uh, with that, you're also going to get another, you're going to get a $500 live event discount. And our best deal that we can that we can offer is our success deal, which is two two thousand nine hundred ninety seven, which is basically two months free, 
And um, it, every time too, once you pay the package, it does have the monthly after it. And that one actually has a thousand dollar live event discount. So that is a really a great deal because now you're talking two thousand dollars really for the whole year if you when you go to your live event. But you know, I was talking to Norm and I didn't want to do this. I told Norm, I said, "This is ridiculous. Those prices are good. We could easily sell that." And and uh, but hey, we want to make this a no brainer deal. So not only are we making this even a better deal for you, we are giving you a 30-day back money-back guarantee on this. So we're going to actually double discount those live event tickets because we know the difference is going to make if you guys come to a live event. So we are going to change those prices we had for the live discounts, and we're going to give you double the live discounts. So instead of the, the first one being just 297 we give you 500 Instead of the first one being 500 it's going to be 1000 And the last one, if you do the year membership, not only will you get our full year, but you'll get a $2,000 discount to our live event. So basically, you're paying $1,000 for the year of our membership, which we do $300 a month, basically, and you can get that discount applied to your live event, especially those that want to go to Greece. So that is a smoking, smoking deal. And uh, I think I sometimes think, Norman, that we're working for free here, but the reason why we're doing this is because we want you guys to, to succeed. So that's why we have what we do. But let me tell you how you can take advantage of that. And like I said, there's a no questions, money back guarantee. It, it really drop dead. Get in there, try it. If it's not for you, then you know, get out of it. And I'll tell you this too. If you guys get in there and we're not at least 10 Xing your business, if we're not 10, sorry, if we're not 10 Xing your investment, so if you're not making at least $3,000 a month more by what we're teaching you, then don't pay us. Please get a refund. We want to make sure that you are really exploding your business. That's why we're doing what we do. So what you need to do if you want to get access to this great offer and to get all the bonuses that we talked about is go to brian.amzandbeyond.com. If one of you guys can uh, post that into the chat box, I would appreciate that. It's just brian at .amzandbeyond.com. And if you guys don't know how to spell Brian, Brian spells it B-R-I-A-N, .amzandbeyond.com. So go there. We'll ask or answer questions. Uh, before we answer questions, I do want to tell you about just a couple of other things, and then we're going to draw the, uh, the two winners like I said, we only have 41 people that are live on this call, and so we want to make sure that you guys are qualified because there might not even be that many, but I'll show you how to do that in a second. Greece, if you guys want to learn more about Greece, go to this link, greece2018.amzandbeyond.com. You do need to be a member in order to a member in good standing in order to access this. Uh, if you are not, we don't, we don't offer this to the public. It's just our members, and it's a unique opportunity just for our members only. Um, Norm, I know you want to say more about this, especially because Brian's coming, didn't you? Especially because I'm coming. That's right. Especially. <laughs> Absolutely. No, I, I think it's an incredible opportunity for anybody who takes action in their business. If you're, um, if you're one of these people that are just, you know, information gatherers and do nothing with it, all right, you know, you, you, but it's not the people that come and take action will get results. No, no holds bar, yeah. and um, the people that you're going to meet are going to be awesome as well. What's going to be cool is most of the people um, that are in the um, the original group that we had, when they came back, they were able to share so much more with the group itself, which was kind of cool. Like Dave said, you know, we're a family, and um, everybody's kind of sharing. Oh, by the way, like when we're doing this, you don't have to, but everybody, like everybody knows kind of your product unless you don't want to share and we have these hot seats and we'll just rip into it and you know help that person build on the spot so there's a lot of things you can get out of this yeah there's, there's a couple things I'll add to this too as far as um, groups um, you know as, as exclusive as this and, and doing the format that you're doing it where it's not simply just hey you're in a membership site and we've got lecturers um, it, you know, where it's really, you know, the, where we're taking a personal interest in making sure that your, that your success, not just on Amazon, but beyond Amazon, because that's where we all need to be growing, you know, in 2018, of course. But here's, here's one of the things that I learned, um, as, as some of you already know, is that I just got back from uh, speaking in China um, at a seller conference. And one of the biggest things that I took away from that China trip, um, wonderful people um, that I got to, to work with and to meet, uh, but one of the biggest things that I, that I took away from that was the differences between what I felt was the difference between the Western and the Eastern cultures um, and the amount of collaboration that they're willing to do 
um, among each other. You know, they, they can go to both do conferences and they will collaborate and they will share ideas and share strategies. Um, they, you know, it's still all paid, of course, but they don't have an issue as far as working together. That's probably the biggest thing. Um, from the, the Western culture, at least from the, in, in the States and in, you know, certain European countries, I find that we often are trying to, to keep everything so private. We're trying to do everything ourselves or actually, as you should say, we're trying to keep everything that we're doing about our business such a secret that we end up doing it by ourselves and then we wonder why we're not growing as fast as others and especially why are we getting killed by the Eastern cultures on Amazon. And it's because they're much more willing to share. They're not afraid of saying it's like, oh, I can't, you know, I can't tell you what my product is. Um, they're saying it's like, look, I'm going to share, I'm going to share with you what my product is and what the product line is because I want uh, feedback. I want to grow. They're they're more interested in growing faster um, as a community than they are in keeping things private and protected as an individual, as we often are. And I got to tell you, is that. You know, um, you know, 10 years ago, I mean, you know, Dave and I, you know, have worked together for, for many years is um, a lot of times I was trying to do everything. I was trying to be the programmer, the writer, the copywriter, the marketer, the, you know, everything. And I was always wondering, why am I struggling year after year to make incremental, you know, gains? Um, and it wasn't really until I started, like I said before, collaborating, trusting in others, and especially be willing to get the crap beat out of me by other people who know more about a topic than I do. That's when I grew the most. That's when I've had the greatest success because I, I stuck my neck out there and I, I started going to these conferences when I thought, Oh, you know, like there's just a bunch of lectures. No, no, I don't go to the conferences for the lectures. I don't go to mastermind trips for the lectures. I go there to collaborate with people and to get in there and work in, in the breakout rooms and uh, the, the round tables in order to really get down in there and say, what can I do to move my, uh, my business, not 10% forward, but two times, three, you know, three times, four times what I was doing last year. And I've never regretted doing that. I've, I've always... Um, it's always paid for itself without a doubt. So yeah, if you guys want to take advantage of that, I saw that uh, some people were putting in their questions about the, the live event cost. Um, most people that we're friends with say we should be charging like 25,000 for this event uh, for what you get during that time, but uh, we're actually charging half that. So you'll see all that stuff and what you get on that page. And again, like I said, you gotta be a member first, so take advantage of the members. And you know, another thing I didn't say, if I go back to that last slide there, or the slide before that, those, um, those live event, those live discounts that we put in there, and this is for live webinar only. I totally forgot to mention that. Uh, that's written on the slide there. We are going to, this is for action takers, all right? So the people that are going to be watching this replay, they are not going to, this is not going to be there tomorrow morning when you see the replay. If you guys take advantage of these plans tonight while on the webinar, we're going to give you those double the, the webinar discounts. Tomorrow, after this webinar, it's going to be the regular prices there, which is the regular bonuses we're given for Brian's group. Uh, after that, Monday night, totally wiped out, all the bonuses are gone. So just so you guys know, we reward action takers. So those of you guys that are on live right now, uh, we will get some questions and answers here more in a minute about our group, but uh, make sure that, uh, that you take advantage of this if you wanna get in. Like I said, you have 30 days to figure it out if it's something that doesn't work for you. Uh, take advantage of those discounts while we have them available. Uh, we also have uh, people, you know, we had people that were asking us, hey, wait, you guys have been doing this since September and uh, you know, we wanna get access to all your content. You know, what can we do to access that past prior six months, basically? And so what we did was we, we set up a, uh, an upsell, basically, if you will, to uh, get some September's data all the way to uh, the end of February, which is another, is it February? Yeah, another six months of data right there. I put some of the stuff that's in there. We talked about Thomason and Dan Fernandez, who actually is the uh, person that, that owns and operates uh, Thomason. We have a whole, I think, five or six hours of data in this vault of information, along with some of these other people here, along with our calls. The, uh, the value of it is if you were to buy, you know, six months, 297 is uh, basically almost $1,800, what our members were paying us. We uh, normally charge, like we, when we set this up, we're going to do it for 997 but uh, we are actually, again, giving you a special deal with this. If it's something you want to add to your, uh, your, your knowledge base, basically, if you will, we're giving you a limited time of this one payment, not, not a monthly on this one. This is a one payment of 497 to get access to that. Now, this is not any of the coaching 
This is any of the interactive stuff. This is not our Facebook group. This is just to get access to the recorded content that we have in there. Uh, tons and tons of content, six months worth that's in there. But if you want to take advantage of that, that link right there, vault.amzandbeyond.com, that is actually on our page too, along with the grease information. If you want to take advantage of that, that's there. After Monday night, that will be back to the regular price, 997 So it's giveaway time. Uh, I know you guys, uh, people have been waiting. They're like, oh, it's gone. Let's get some giveaways here. I feel like uh, that we've been giving away all night because the, the knowledge that we gave you guys, you guys, I hope, take and run with it. That's what is more important to us, yeah. that you actually can take what we use, give it to you, and run with it. So how a, do you do one, it? Yeah, do me a favor. Put a one in the chat. Let me, let me you know, you know that I always do this. So put a, put a one in the chat if you got, if you you got at least one gem out of there. Put a two in there if you got two gems. That's what I thought. All right. How about, oh, someone put a Brian in there. 100. <laughs> Lucas got two. Hey, how many did you get? You put the number you want in there. You know, I, there, there's a lot of information we share with you guys tonight. Hopefully that a lot of it was new. Oh, cool. I really appreciate you guys doing this. So, so thank you for, for, for joining me today. I'm putting in there the link right now, which is fb.amzandbeyond.com. And basically with that link is to register for this giveaway we're about to give. I'm going to open up. Oh, that's not the one I want. There is a, I thought I had one open. Here it is, this one right here. If I take this screen, hold on a second, guys. I'm moving this over here. I'm op opening up. Are you seeing the, my, my Facebook there? Yeah. All right, so this is the post right here. If you go to fb.amzandbeyond.com, it'll take you to this page. This is our, our page. This is the actual post on the page. Actually, if I go back, it'll show you the page itself. Hey, like our page if you want to you know, learn more because we'll be putting more content on this. And uh, if you scroll down a little ways, the first post you're going to see, it's not a pin post. It was posted two hours ago because we've been on two hours now. You see it has AMZ and Beyond Training Webinar tonight, May 31st. What we need you to do is comment on this page if you want to be in this drawing that we're about to do. All right? You'll see right now it says 21 more comments. That means we have, 22, we have 23 people that have placed the comment that hopefully you're live on the call. We have 38 people that are still on this call. So there's 15 of you that have not put a comment in yet. So if you want to be eligible for this drawing that I'm about to do, go ahead and comment on that page before I hit the random uh, picker to find out who wins 100 bucks and who wins a free month of our membership. By the way, if those of you guys that are purchasing our membership, if you actually win the, uh, the month free, what we'll do is we'll just add on another month to your membership uh, automatically. So... You know, I already saw there's some, some orders that already came in. So if you are one of the lucky winners, you'll get the free month. Make sure you put a comment in there because the chance of winning yeah, right now is pretty good. So go ahead do that. Now, While we're wait, go ahead. Go I, ahead, Brian. Oh, yeah, Brian, I, you I did put I did put a comment in there, but I'm gonna recuse recuse myself from any uh, from any uh, if it pulls uh, you up or, or awards. If it pulls you up, <laughs> we'll re redraw. It, it, you more than likely, Norman already put a comment in there too, and he did it on our several, someone else's Facebook several. account. So yeah, we I, I'll I'll watch, I have to watch that close because I know Norman loves free stuff. Um, <laughs> while we're while we're waiting for that to come in, I do want to show you when you log into your uh, your your account. This is uh, the membership site. I just want to show you this real quick. Uh, this is my wife's account. You come in here under content, and if you go into our our members group, this is what it looks like right now. The three months of content that we have. Our last call was last week. We have our calls there, so you know two a month for the last three months is six calls. We have all this extra training we've done. So we've had uh, training on Pinterest, how to use group boards. They use traffic to uh, where there's a lot of buyers, a lot of women that are buying stuff on, on Pinterest. If you are not doing that, we teach you how to do that. We have further seller tools training. That's working really well. Finding new product opportunities is uh, shows you how uh, we actually go through and find new product opportunities, probably different than you've ever seen before. Uh, SOPs, how to get money. For, uh, Amazon owes you back. You know, this is actually using a different thing than most people using for refunds, working really well. And this is the training I just put up there today, which is creating virtual bundles for more sales. We've had guest speakers in addition to other guest speakers on these calls. We had uh, uh, Connor Gillivan from uh, FreeUp, Bradley Long from Shoptimize Theme for Shopify. We actually have special deals for his stuff, including stuff for FreeUp as well. And then we had Ernest Epps, who uh, is a drop shipping large, uh, what is it called, high ticket uh, killer. He's killing it with what he's doing, high ticket items for drop shipping on, uh, on Shopify. And then we have all these different SOPs you see below here. So I told you, this is just the last three months. You know, we have tons of SOPs that uh, we're continuing adding in there all the time. And then we have resources. That's just our membership site. If you, those of you guys that take advantage of the vault, 
So that extra 497 that we offered for the vault, this will give you a quick idea. You know, all the calls that we had in there for the first three, uh, six months, all the different extra training that we put in there. So you, those of you guys that you know, want to take a screenshot of what you're getting, there's a lot of content you're getting for 500 bucks, and then all these SOPs, lots of stuff in there. Uh, and then, like I said, I'm putting together the Amazon course that uh, is, I'm telling you, we have experts that are going through the Amazon course, and uh, they're doing, they're, they're getting more out of it than they ever have in other things. So you know, take advantage of it. And then to show you this, our, our private Facebook group, before we do the drawing, hopefully you guys are going to check in. You guys put more comments in here because I want to make sure that we're going to get the access to everyone. So we have 21. Okay, yeah. All right. Yeah, there's a couple so more. more. I think we need to come in. But this is our, our private group, which is right here, our Facebook group. And let me close that because we saw Mark just put his post in there. Um, you know, people are interacting. I mean, we have tons. Just today alone, Norman, we have so many people that were asking different things in here. But uh, we have a bunch of new members that just came in, and they're just loving it, absolutely loving all this stuff that's coming in here. We're interacting with them. So like I said, there's a three-week gap here without calls, but we're actually going through, and uh, you know, people are putting questions in there they want us to cover. And uh, on the next call, I just want to say, hey, the next call, I want to talk about product title syntax, example, comp company name, key feature, all that stuff. And uh, you know, we will cover that for him. You know, so all these things that people are posting in there. So let's go ahead and get this drawing going. So this is your last chance. Hopefully all the comments are in there, people that are on. Let's go to the random comment picker, right? So I'm going to first click the search button. Let's see what we got here. Sorry, something, okay. All right, I have to do this again. So I have to come here to the actual post, grab that link, go to the ram, random comment picker. Let me hit refresh. Post in the post. And it's going to filter out duplicate users because I know Norman probably posted more than once as well. Several. So we're going to search that. How many did you do? Several. Norm Ferrara. Several. See, there's only 27 uh, unique commenters. And one of those is Brian Johnson that we know of that he is going to exclude himself. So you guys have a 1 in 26 chance of winning. So those of you guys that are still on our call, let's do a random drawing here. So let's see if I remember how to do this. Uh, long enough to start. Okay, so I push this button. It's going to pick a winner. This is going to be for a hundred dollar cash giveaway. Again, you have to be live on the call. If you guys are on here to comment, you're not on here. Sorry, we need to be live on the call. So let's see who our winner of the hundred dollars is first. If this is for Brian some Johnson. reason my name comes up, Gary on one German. Of them. Gary, no, I know no. Gary German was on the call. Gary, are you still on the call? If you are, um, put some in the chat box. He is. Is he on the call? Gary, Gary congratulations. Chandler. Gary is a, a buddy of mine for the last couple of years now. And uh, Gary, we are going to be sending you $100. So do me a favor and private message. Um, just, you know, you could, I think you can do private message in here, can't you? Private message myself and just put in there your PayPal address and I will send you a quick $100 over to your account. So yeah, he's here. Sweet. He says, awesome. I'm here. So Gary won $100. So next, we're going to be the, doing the drawing for the, uh, the free month of AMZ and Beyond. So let me just hit the refresh button on here again. And because the group is so small, I guess you could win twice, but should we, yeah. should we allow twice? <laughs> no, I think we should, let's, let's, let's make it unique. Time, right? I was going okay. to say it just too, is if for some reason my name comes up there, then... Um, You're going to give it to your wife? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to match whatever the bonus is, I'm going to match it for the next person. Wow. Okay. So if, if we draw Brian Johnson as the free month then someone's going to win two months. Correct. Yep. All right. That's on me. Let's see what happens. So we are down to the 26 unique. Now how it went down to, from one, I don't know, but uh, let me go ahead and see who wins the free month of the membership. So it's going through all the different things, randomly picking Toby Quay. Toby. Toby, Toby are you on the call? And I see Gary's PayPal. So Gary, I'm gonna, I'm gonna send Ooh, you that hundred bucks I don't right see now. Toby on the call anymore. Oh no! Oh, oh no! Are you Am sure? I Am I missing it? Uh, look, I, I didn't check participants. Let's see participants. Let me see if Toby's on there. Toby could have won the free so. like, Move on, move on. <laughs> yeah, no, she is not. I, I'm assuming it's a, it's a girl, and if that's the case, she is not here. So. Yep, Richard said, let's move on to another one. All right, yeah. this is fun. So that's great. I'm glad you guys are having fun. Let me refresh the page again. I like this little plugin. Yeah, tell me what, what, show me what this is. 
All right, this, 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 this is commentpicker.com. So uh, we have our, I'll oh, just so you guys know too, you got, probably already saw this. Those of you guys that left comments, notice that it automatically got responded to you. It wasn't me doing it. It was ManyChat that was following up with you. You had to hit enter to enter the contest, right? And now we can follow up with you with ManyChat. The reason why we're doing that is not so I can, you know, blast you with all our marketing messages, but to show you how we use ManyChat to actually, in, in our product business, to follow up with people. And uh, it's another strategy that we use as well. So, um, Let's see. Salman says, now Brian will match one more extra month. All right. So that means I have to get this post thing again. Sorry, Gary. I had your, the thing saved, but let me go into, put it in here again. We're up back to 27 unique. Let's okay. see who wins the free month. Come on, Brian Johnson. Come on, Brian Johnson. Saeed, no, Saeed. Salman, <laughs> who just said it. This is so fun, and he was LOL, so I know he's there. So, Salman, you are actually the winner of the free month of AMZ and Beyond membership. If you already purchased, don't worry about it. We'll add the month to your membership. If you haven't purchased yet, if you either way, if you want to purchase, you know, go ahead. But if you uh, if you don't, we'll give you the free month. Uh, my guess is that uh, you'll love it, and then hopefully you'll stay on afterwards. But um, Saeed, go ahead, do me a favor, and send me your uh, your email address. And I will uh, set you up with a free account uh, later on this evening, and we'll send it over your way as well. So let's go back. That part of the fun is over. I'm going to drop this, and let's go back to. Uh, I did the I did the walkthrough already when we're walking through that, uh, showing while we're waiting for that. So uh, let's do questions. Any other questions that we can answer for you guys, Brian? If you see them, uh, go. Kathy says one more time. Do it one more time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, you know what we'll do? We'll see, we're Kathy. Done. We'll see. We'll see who the. Uh, who the winner would be if, if, if uh, the next person wasn't there. Can I do that? You know what? Yeah. You know what? Actually, you know what? Do uh -oh. another one, and, and, I'll, and I'll take care of that one. What? I, oh, I already agreed that I would do no, a double. No, Gary already won. It was Gary Jordan. Uh, yeah, yeah, no, I'm sorry. I mean, Gary right. already won. So let's do one more. Let's pick another one. So you, you're going to cover the cost of this one for another one? Well, month? what I'm doing is I basically am, I'm adding – I'm not matching anything, right? So what I'm suggesting is we're giving another first month free. Another first yeah. month free. You okay. guys want to do that? You're, you're going to cover. Uh, you're going to cover the first that first month. All right, sounds good. So um, basically, we'll have that person sign up, and you send them the, the two ninety seven reimbursement, right? Uh, however you want to do it. Yeah. Yeah. Let's, yep. That that's that works. Just so, so long as they're not out of pocket on it. Yep. Okay, let's do it. It's Richard, Richard says that comment picker is biased, LOL. <laughs> yeah, it's Gary's actually like, my Ooh. site. Actually, it's, Norman's, it's Norman's site. All right, let's do. Let's see who wins again. It's going to be funny if my name comes up on here. It comes up in government, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's Jesse Jimenez. Jesse, all right. I'll take care is of you, Jesse. Jesse on? Yep. All right, Jesse. Wow, Jesse had just commented just on. <laughs> just on money. Oh, there you go. That's, that's some. Uh, there you go, Jesse. Jesse, uh, so <laughs> Jesse, what we're going to do is uh, go ahead and sign up for the package. If you do more than the month, either way, you're going to get 297. If you do the month, I'll have uh, we'll have Brian send you PayPal of the 297. So, wow, that's a lot of good stuff. A lot of giveaways there, guys. Three giveaways, and you had a good chance. And Gary would have won twice there. So, yep. If there's only 25, Ed, it, it's a pretty good number. It's good chances. So, um, go ahead and um, uh, who was it again that just won? It was uh, Jesse. Jesse. So Jesse, yeah, go ahead and uh, put your information in. Uh, sign up for whichever package you want, and then uh, send your PayPal information to uh, to Brian Johnson, and he'll send it over to you. Two ninety seven. Wow. Okay. So more questions that we have. We have an answer, guys. Do you see more stuff that came in? Vanessa says, "Great this webinar, guys. Great I don't webinar, normally guys. like them for all that wasted time, but this was content rich for sure." Well, Vanessa, sure. if you like, if you like our free stuff, wait till you see our paid stuff. <laughs> yeah. Like I said, Norma and I, for some reason, we go four hours. Questions that we missed. What, what, what Ed? What are you, I think Ed's harassing me. <laughs> what? False send. Only twenty five more. <laughs> oh, uh, he's, he's saying I should hook everybody else up. <laughs> I think I think you hooked everyone up just uh, having us with this content with this webinar that you guys have been uh, extracting out of us. Uh, oh, by the way, so people were asking about the PDF and the slides. Let me show you where everything is. The the um, the what you call it? The everything's on the landing page. So if you go to brian.amzambeyond.com, right? If you scroll down here, this is where the replay will be posted. It will take a little while for uh, Zoom to render it, and then I will have it uploaded by tomorrow morning. 
until then, right below there, there's the slides that we presented from tonight. They'll download right to you know, your presentation slides. All five of those strategies, SOPs, are right there for you guys to access. Feel free to download, use them. Please do not share them. Uh, we would appreciate uh, you know, keeping that uh, amongst yourselves. All right, so uh, that's one of the things. This is for your benefit only. And then down below that, we have the information. If you click there about Greece, it'll take you to the Greece page. This is the, uh, that upsell vault that we talked about for 497. You can access that. And then more information you want to learn about mentors. We have more testimonials here and uh, what's all included in your membership is all down there. All right, so all that stuff is there. Replay will be posted there tomorrow, and I believe Brian will probably be sending links. Do realize that those uh, live webinar bonuses, though, will end. And while we do this, since you know, there's only 35 people left on the call, why don't we, uh, to make it fair, at midnight tonight Pacific is when we'll, we'll change those bonuses. The double bonuses won't end. At the end of this webinar, we'll end it at uh, midnight Pacific. Tomorrow, those of you guys who are watching the replay, uh, unfortunately, those double your live bonuses are not going to be there, but all the rest will be there until uh, the end of Monday, June 4th at uh, midnight Pacific Standard Time. So, like I said, we like action takers. Those of you guys that are taking action are uh, going to be highly rewarded. Hey, Dave. So, a couple yeah. of questions as far as, like, what's the website for the replay? That's, what's, that's what we're sending out tomorrow, right? Well, it's the same website. It's, it's the brian.amzambeyond.com. Oh, Okay. It'll be right there. See, so it's, it's, it's redirected to this page right here, but when you click brian.amzambeyond.com, it'll take you right here. That won't say replay anymore. It'll actually be the video in there tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Oh, what about the resource vault? It's, it's jumping here. So Rich said, what about the resource vault? The resource vault, which is a one-time purchase, and you'll always have access to that. The, um, the membership site, you'll only have access to the membership site as you are a monthly member, uh, as well as the – the uh, the access to be able to access the live uh, event you can only do the live event if you're an active member as well you will always have access to those uh, the discount if if and when you for some reason drop off and come back again so Richard yeah the, the resource resource vault you you'll have access all the time to that that is yours uh, it's a one time payment you'll have access to those six months always uh, Jen says duh how do I PM you Brian can you initiate so just send a message right in here. If you, down below, and just put uh, look at Brian Johnson panelist and send him a private message, and, and uh, you can send him his, his PayPal that way. Oh yeah, that'll work. Yeah, uh, uh, Richard wants to see Richard that. wants to see the, what the what the resource resource vault has again. So yeah, definitely. Let me go back. This is you guys seeing that right there, the resource vault. And, and I think you should mention those lessons are three to four hours each. Correct, and some of them, some of them have different, like, uh, like this one says uh, Thomason special guest Dan Fernandez is on there, but other ones you can't see who the guest is until you actually click on it. So if I were to go over here and I look at the description, you know, this one talks about it tells you what we're talking about there: Facebook ads, Helium Ten, new tool that. Sort oh, and of thing. click the downloads, Dave, so people can see if there's con. Oh, that one doesn't have any. That one doesn't have content. Seems to be. But if I go back here to section one, so I know if we come to one of these calls, I'm sure we have a guest speaker. So uh, this one was Rob Burns, who uh, does lots of video creation, video marketing, press releases sort of stuff. So you know, he was on there. And he actually, one of the things he gave us was, oh, you guys saw that one slide with the, uh, the hair moving from our grease thing. Uh, that is a special technique. And I can't think of what it's called right now. Plotograph. Plotograph. <laughs> Plotograph. Cinegraph even, I think it's called, right? So. That we have special deals with that with Rob Burns. So that's one of the things you get there. Um, but just to, to answer your question, Richard, we have all those calls from uh, and the guest speakers that are on. I could have obviously done a, lot, a better job marking this. That's why we're not offering it for very much because if you knew what was in some of this content, it would be a no-brainer to grab this as well. But here's the, uh, the extra training that we covered. You know, Facebook. Oh, so this one right here, this is interesting. This, this one right here is how to create a Facebook ads account in Canadian dollars. So you are basically getting a 20% discount on your FBA ads marketing. So you'll be 20% discount over everybody else. It's a very unique tactic, and we keep it very close. Uh, I don't share that in any public forums, but uh, you can get access to that. How to set up uh, Shopify store, getting Facebook clicks cheaply. Um, everything you need to know about virtual bundles is right there. Dave Uri shared this one. Uh, all these different things. How do you, this is a powerful one. Norman talks about this all the time. How to use uh, – he's always talking me up with this one. How to use uh, – Facebook Messenger to engage uh, people, but also how to uh, get uh, use of content content marketing to get cheap Facebook uh, clicks. This is all at Thomason. Uh, five hours of content right here of Thomason. 
how to use uh, influencers to launch your products, to get reviews, to get uh, velocity, all that stuff is right here. And let's see, how to get any of your first re reviews with Amazon. We had Rob Green on there. He's going to be a guest on the, after, the week after Brian Johnson. Uh, and this one right here, this call alone will show you how to get your cheapest import fees with HTS codes that you can imagine. And you can find most of the time, you can find who your competitor suppliers are. Uh, and protect you. And protect you at the same time so people can't find it. A very powerful call, that one that's in the vault. And then all these SOPs, Richard is, go, is in here. The uh, optimizing product reviews, uh, responding to uh, uh, reviews with keywords, the catch-all campaign we have in there. Obviously, you have access to that already. All these different things, removing negative seller feedback, uh, back-end keyword limit, all this stuff. Uh, tons of different things that we have in the resource vault here. So hopefully that will answer your question, Richard. And we're going to be continuing to add to the SOPs. Like just to give you an example, Dave was right about me. I go crazy over SOPs. For my um, for my launch, um, my launch grouping, uh, I think we have uh, three, two hundred and ninety, two hundred and seventy nine um, different SOPs just for product launch. So we're going to be constantly adding and adding and adding. Perfect. So, Brian Johnson, any other questions or things that are in here? So, we still have. No, I just wanted to on. confirm with you guys um, for for Jesse um, that first month it's it's two ninety seven, right? That's the reimbursement amount. Yes, correct. Cool. Yep. So, Jesse, if, it, it doesn't matter what package he purchases. Um, yeah, the, he's going to reimburse you two ninety seven on that one. So, I'm not sure. Let me look back and see. Yeah, he already he he got the monthly one so far. So yes, the two ninety seven. And that was Jesus, you said? No. What? Jesse? Who is the one that won that one? Jesse. Jesse, sorry, Jesse has not purchased yet. So Jesse, go ahead and pick a package there. So hold off. Don't send them the money until he actually purchases, Brian. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, there's a purchase link. There. Oh, Jesse, sorry, <laughs> Jesse is Jesus. Got it. That's right. I thought. Oh, okay. that, uh, <laughs> all right. So yes, Jesse uh, has purchased because he purchased under Jesus Jimenez. Perfect. So he did. He did all get right, it. Well, I, I'm going to have faith in this system here. All right, Jesse, you should have that now, uh, or it should be on uh, through PayPal. You should have it. Uh, Jesse loves you. Two ninety seven reimbursement. Uh, Jesus loves you for the two. Oh, Jesus loves you. He said. Loves you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then I'm working on sending uh, Gary the money right now. So, Gary, that's going to be coming here in a second. And uh, other questions. So, those of you guys that haven't joined yet, and we had a bunch of people that have come on, okay, welcome to the group. Uh, we're excited to have you guys on. Uh, those of you guys that haven't yet, they're still on the call, besides just enjoying our, our, uh, you know, our comedy that we like uh, doing here on, uh, on our calls. Uh, <laughs> what is the reason? Tell me if there's a reason why it's holding you back. You know, what is, what's holding you back from purchasing right now that we can answer for you and hopefully point you in the right direction? Go ahead and, and put in there. If there's some kind of hesitation, what it is, what is it, then, uh, you know, what can we do to, uh, to help point you in the right direction? Fong has a, a message. Uh, uh, so if you join 297 a month, do you get the <clears throat> vault? No, you do not. The, uh, the vault is the only upsell that we have there. So uh, you get... When you do 297 a month, you only get you get access to the current stuff that we're going to be doing, the Facebook group. You get access to the past. We're getting the bonus of the past three months of calls, and uh, the six months prior to that is the resource the resource vault, which is the extra. And of course, you get access to the membership site and all the content we have in there from the currently for the next month, and then everything for the past three months. All right, Gary, your money is coming your way. Hundred bucks. <laughs> Dave, did you get my email for my one-month free membership? Um, I have to get it. Put it in there again, Solomon, because I was working on something else. So it's put it, post it again, and then I will set you up there as well. Get a fix. I got it. Okay, perfect. Um, Gary's money is right there. Send a thousand dollars. Oh crap, Gary! No, I'm just kidding. It's just a hundred. All right. It's it's Norman's money, so you know I'm just like I like spending his money. <laughs> All right, so Salman, is that how you want to put in there, Salman Shah? Is that uh, how you want me to set up your membership? Perfect. I'm putting it in right now there for you. 
Gary, hopefully you got that uh, check. And I, I say that, Gary, but it, it's actually is my money. And then, you know, Norman pays me back. <laughs> Wait a minute. Who's paying me back? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Nobody. <laughs> um, you're paying us back, just... back to your, uh, to your Q and a message. So hopefully you got that through the text. I haven't actually replied to one of those before. So let me know if you got that or not. All right. So is there anyone, is there any other questions that came in? I'm curious, uh, any other questions people have regarding our membership, maybe something that's holding you back on the fence. Keep watching Norman. You keep watching the, the bearded one. Cause he's, well, he's a celebrity. He doesn't like to be called celebrity, but he is. He is. This, see this, you know, this, I, I haven't mentioned this. So I haven't done this ever. There's only one time in college that I was growing a beard. And I, it, it, if I remember correctly, it grew in a lot quicker. I only did like five weeks worth. But this is going to be, another week, it's going to be three months, right? And you see, I mean, I don't have much here. And I, I, I come in pretty thick. You see this? This is three months. Look at Norman's beard. It, I can't imagine how long it will take to – if I were to and it caught on fire and it caught on fire. He's half the man that he used to be as well. <laughs> so, you know, it's, it's pretty crazy. I, I don't know. I, I, I can't imagine ever growing a beard that long, Norman. It's I, I, I never realized it was so hard until I started doing it myself. And I'm like, wow. Okay. Now I, I see. Well, never go through, uh, go, th go near a gas stove when cooking hamburgers. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. All right, don't, so let me see. I'm setting up. Goes the grindstone, that type of thing? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, there's a few problems. Oh, I know why. I put the wrong thing in here. So, uh, Salman, I'm actually setting you up right now. I will um, send this login over to you so you can access our membership, and you will have the free month as well. Any other questions that come in? I don't see any other questions coming in. Are we about done to call it a night, guys? Oh, wait, there's another new message. Oh, Richard came. bought the vault. Awesome. Perfect. And it's not showing, so he said. Uh, oh. um, it will be a different login. Just so uh, Richard, just so you know, it will be a separate login for the vault. It um, it will be different than the first purchase that you did. So hopefully that uh, that'll answer your question there. And let me send a private message to Salman, and I'm going to send your username that I set up and your password. And hopefully it's just going to you, so not everyone steals your login. And hopefully, and just let me know before we get off if this works, Salman. Just send it over to you in private message there. Uh, no. Nope. And, and panelists got it too. Oh yeah, okay. <laughs> so that should that should get him in, and you'll be set up for a uh, you know thirty days. Oh wait, it's not in there yet. I never hit the create user button. That might help. Oh, and it might help too if I tell you what the what the link is. They sign in there, Salman. Sorry. <laughs> Come it's, on, I'm late. It's late. It's <laughs> almost seven thirty my time, and I haven't had dinner yet. Besides a few of these uh, walnuts and stuff. Give I me a here. break, Dave. More, 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 more. <laughs> Cry me a river. I know you're on the beach. What are you complaining about? Ah. Uh, all right. So let's see. I have. Uh, I do have. Let's see. Richard is a new member. Brian, Jesus, Edward, Courtney, and Richard went ahead and bought the uh, bought the vault so far. So. Uh, great, guys. We we are very happy to have you guys on board and uh, looking forward to having you, uh, again, part of our group. And I think that you're going to love it. If for some reason, like I said, if you don't love it, just ask for a refund. There's uh, there's no reason to um, there's no reason to uh, continue paying us if, you, if you're not getting benefit from it. And, you know, some people, it won't be for you. And if it is the case, then, hey, no, no hard feelings. If you if you can't do this right now for some whatever reason may be, take advantage of what we gave you guys. Uh, utilize those strategies, take those SOPs, run with it, and start making some more money. And then maybe you just need to make some more money, and then you're going to come in. But remember the whole concept of loss opportunity costs. And I'm telling you right now, if you guys are saying, yo, I'm not there yet, I don't want to, you know, maybe you're never going to be there. Or what is it going to be to cut down on the amount of time it's going to take you to get there? You know, it could be, this could be the one thing that's pushing you over the edge. So um, whatever it is, I hope that you guys got a great benefit from this tonight. I know it was uh, almost two and a half hours webinar here. And, uh, it's, yeah, it's a lot of stuff, but hopefully that, um, hopefully you're able to take this and run with it. And, uh, let's see, Salman says he's getting an error for the, for the password. So 
let me fix this before we get off. Anything else, Norm, you want to share before, while I'm still working on this issue with his thing? No, I, I think everything's summed up. It's a, it's a great opportunity uh, to come in, try it, risk-free. You got absolutely nothing to lose. You got everything to gain by having access to our members, talking, you know, talking to them during the calls and getting that information. But the main thing, like we talked about earlier, is being able to take action. You can learn everything, but if you don't go and implement it, then you're always going to maintain that same level where your where your sales are right now. Yep, and that's that's something. I mean, you know, having worked with uh, Dave for for a number of years, of course, is that that, that was something that I'd always admired about Dave is that um, he would outwork me three times as much. He get three times as much done in a day as I would, um, and that's something that I've had to you know, through my mentors and my partners and my association with people like Dave and Norman, um, I've continued to push myself and gotten better and the, the payoff has been been huge. So um, this, this is the kind of program that I personally wish I would have had um, years ago or actually, I think it, I think there's a, that something like it would have been available. I just didn't see it. Mm-hmm. You know, it might have been right in front of me. I'm like, nah, you know, I, I, you know, I'll just keep doing it on my own. But you know, and what would you, I, I, so you know. <laughs> how would you change it if you were to look, go back now and change time? What would you do with that, Brian? How would you change it? Uh, you know, that's one of those. That's one of those kind of things where you kind of like going. Well, you know what? If I went back and changed something, that would I really be where I am now? Well, maybe I'd be you know ten times farther than where I am now. But yeah, I, I would say that that easily is that if I were to go back ten years, for instance, it, it would definitely be a case of I would network more and then plug into to people not simply just not 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 like course creators for instance and, and granted I am one uh, but you know the the people that can can really challenge me and, and I think that I think that's probably what has where I've seen the most amount of growth is where I surround myself with people who I've given permission to push me outside of my comfort zone and to learn what they've learned and make mistakes along the way too. Um, I think just kind of growing, growing a set, you know, I think probably uh, it just takes time. Good stuff. Yep. Words of wisdom. And I tell you right now, I don't work circles around Brian Johnson anymore. I relax. <laughs> <laughs> We are leaving, uh, to actually, uh, I don't know if I told you guys, I don't even know if Norman knows. I actually, uh, my wedding anniversary is coming up. It's going to be eight years on uh, the 4th. So Monday, when this offer ends, is my Hawaii. anniversary. What's that? Let me guess, Hawaii? No, 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 no. We, we can't go there right now. Um, but thanks. It totally blows it <laughs> on the trip. You know, because when I say, that, say we're going to go, you're like, oh, oh, great. Uh, no, we're going out to Tucson for the weekend. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we have uh, we're gonna do some wine tasting, some wine tasting down there, and um, uh, gonna go to the Cursor Caverns and stuff like that. Relax at the resort, and so yeah, so we're gonna go enjoy that time. Now we're gonna be in Hawaii for two weeks in uh, in July, so okay. yeah, looking forward to that. But yeah, there's definitely you know we've built our business to a point now where you know we don't have to work as hard. We have people doing stuff for us as well. Uh, we've diversified our income in many different places besides just internet marketing and our product business. So. Uh, it's right. a good place to be, and uh, you know, I like I love what I do because I, I and I'm passionate about all that stuff and helping people, and uh, hopefully that uh, we can help you get there. And whatever your goals are, you know, obviously there's no magic bullet. You have to take action to make it happen. But uh, you know, following the right path, following the right mentors, and being a part of this group is going to really help you get there faster. So, um, I it looks like we got everything all set. Solomon's all set up. Uh, he's logged in, good to go. Uh, Gary said the money has arrived. And Jesus Jimenez is all signed up as well with his reimbursement. So that is awesome. And, um, yeah, it looks like, uh, okay, cool. And then uh, Gary, I'm gonna, a personal message to Gary. Gary, get on board with us because I know that what we're doing, it can get you the products. I know Gary's still not on Amazon yet, but uh, we can help you get there, man. And uh, hopefully you'll be coming on board too. Do realize that these uh, bonuses, the double your bonuses, will end at midnight tonight. And the rest of the bonuses in the offer – for Brian Johnson's crew is going to end on June 4th, Monday night at Pacific uh, midnight Pacific Standard Time. And then it'll be back just to the regular thing. I uh, do know, too, that we're keeping this group very intimate. Once uh, we get to a certain point, 
uh, I think it's, we said 100 people, Norm. Once we have 100 people, yeah. we're not going to be adding any more to that call. And uh, we are getting close now, too. So uh, if we have to cancel the offer early, we will do that. So don't wait to the last minute um, because we want to keep this small, intimate group going. Uh, if we had too many people on the call, like I said, the whole Brady Bunch thing, it just becomes too conjumbled. And yeah. we want to make sure we keep it pertinent to everything that uh, uh, the people that are on there and we keep that, uh, that, that ratio what we want it to be. Uh, those of you guys that, uh, that purchased, thank you. Again, we look forward to working with you. Uh, those of you guys that are interested in, in uh, Greece, let me know. Uh, Norman and I would be glad to talk to you about that. That is going to be an incredible event. All three of us here are going, along with a few others, and uh, it's going to be a pretty incredible time. So, um, yeah, Brian, thank you for having us on. I appreciate your time. I know it's late your time, and you have a family to get back to, and you're still at your office. So uh, thanks again. No, no, thanks this for is just green screen. I'm actually Yeah, that's awesome. what it is. The family's there too, right? Uh, <laughs> Yeah, thanks, thanks for throwing yeah, that extra guys, offer for there for here. Jesus. That was really awesome. awesome. Norman, any closing words for, from you? Hey, no, I just appreciate everybody sharing their time with us tonight. I know you're busy, and, um, you know, hopefully you picked up those nuggets, and we enjoyed, you know, being on here with Brian, and hope you picked up something. So until we meet again, we'll see you later. All right. Thanks, everybody. Right, guys. Take care. And thanks, Brian, for having us on. All right. Thank you. Yep. Yeah.